Wait, hello? Okay, I think my mic is working now. I know, I'm so sorry. The one time I'm streaming... Well, the one time, like, I'm, I'm like... God, words. Words are so fucking hard. Words are so hard. But I know, I know! I'm streaming a game that's not Dragon Age? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? There we go, I got something out. Hi, chat. Hello. I'm having a very 
weird day. We have Waldo beside me, which is great, but also kind of bad because um, I was drinking some chocolate milk, as I do, and I took a sip and there was a hair in it. So I spat it back out and I really, really, really want to go and get a new cup. I want to get a new fresh glass of chalky milk, but I can't because if I get up, Waldo will leave and I don't want him to leave. So, you know, Red is stinky. Sriracha, you are so right. You are so right, bestie. How are you? And Ashley, hello. Nah, I'm streaming today. It's Tuesdays that I don't stream. Not sure if you remember me, but I followed because of good old Kareem. As you should. So that means you have great taste. I love that for us. Also, how are you, Say Beasting? Hello, Elise. I regret to inform you I'm taking a red side. What the fuck? What is this betrayal? What do you mean you're taking a red side? He's the worst. I don't like this. I don't appreciate this. Mm -mm, this is Cyrus Lander. Hey, Pars. Hello. Hi, Salmona. How are you? As I see you. And hello, Kelsey. Hey, the bot worked. Oh, which bot? Oh, the Discord bot? I fucking know. It actually said I was live. Could you believe it? That never happens. Then Mango, thank you for the nine month prime resub. I appreciate it. What are we naming our baby? I'm kind of trying a new restaurant. Ooh. Wait, are you at a restaurant right now and watching my stream? What the heck? And yes, Waldo just left. So I think I have time. To get a new drink. Oh, you door dashed it? Oh, okay, so you're not a terrible customer. Good. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. When I'm in restaurants and I'm alone, I'm on my phone all the time. Hey, oranges. Hello. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to go and get some new milk or some something to, to drink. I will be right back. I'm sorry. <laughs> for free? Tummy for free? I know. I know. Y'all are so spoiled. I'm also gonna take this moment to go and pee because I need to piss. So I'll be right back <laughs> again.
Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, I remember chubbies, Kelsey. Those banged. Those banged. Those were so good. Okay, hi. Chat, would y'all prefer, like... Oh my god, hold on. There we go. Do y'all prefer, like, the full screen, like, cam just chatting moments? Or would you prefer if, like, I did them like this? Okay. My controller almost DC'd, but we're good. Hello, Thwackify. How are you? Welcome. You like the full screen vibes? Yeah, I do too, honestly. Thank you, Iman. I appreciate it. I forgot to hit stream open and I keep thinking it's you jumping into VC. I'm so sorry. I wish it was, but alas, I am here. I like how the top doubled as a horse phone holder, as it should. As it fucking should. Hi, Syra. Sorry about last stream, but very rude thing to do just know I do appreciate you and your content. This isn't much but cheers. I appreciate it, Garn. Thank you for the 2 and 3 sub. Honestly, it's okay. You didn't take it poorly, and that's what matters. There are some people, you know, who will come into a stream, do something wrong, they get called out, and then they throw a fit. You know what I mean? All you gotta do is be like, oops, I made a mistake. Boom. So thank you for being so mature and being so kind as to giving me your money. <laughs> no, you're good, don't worry. Um, I have a warning, so today, um, so, okay, no, let me start over. So I had therapy the other day, it was bad. It was bad. Bluntly, it was fucking terrible. I'm not doing so hot. Um, I, I'm on the brink of having uh, a manic episode. Good stuff. Um, so, tonight, might not be good. <laughs> we might have a good stream, but I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling y'all right now. Don't fuck with me tonight. Do not. <laughs> Do not. Unless, like, you have your will prepared and a shovel and a plot picked out, don't fuck with me tonight, okay? I mean, you can fuck with me. But be, but be good about it, okay? Sharpened sword. Oh, that's all. I just want to get that out there. Because, like, I don't want, you know, I don't want to, I, I just need y'all to know. I just need y'all to know that I'm not all there right now. I've been feeling, like, really numb. I've been feeling really numb, and I, I don't feel like I'm here. I don't feel present. You know, I was, I was in voice chat with, with Red, and I was looking at myself, and I was like, I don't know who this is. And I'm looking at myself right now, and I'm like, I don't know who that is. I don't recognize myself. That's fucking weird! I, I'm, and I'm, and it's weird too, because I'm self-aware right now. Like, I can, it's. It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not good. Not a good time. Not not great. But we ball because I need to work and we got to make money, baby. <laughs> I got to do my job. I got to do my job. This is also the trip. It is a trip. Ah, it's not. It's. Hi, my name is Syra and I suffer with anxiety, depression, OCD and BPD. I'm a disaster, but I'm your disaster. And for $4.99 a month, you can help pay for my therapy. <laughs> oh my god. Closet Gamer, thank you for the posture check. Hello, Clever. It's nice to see you. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. I know Drill. I'm impressed. Carly, thank you for the two months. Resub and Thwackify, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Coven. Hope you're a badger most and your stay. And being a gilf, how could we forget? How could we forget that? <laughs> Rise and grind, baby. Are you ever super excited about a thing you bought and then it gets in and doesn't do what you bought it for? Yes! That is part of my BPD. <laughs> like, I have this terrible problem where I shop to fill the void. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not... No, I'm not bipolar. I have borderline personality disorder. Thank you. Um... So, uh, so I'll buy things, right? I'll buy things. And 
I'll forget that I bought them. I will forget that I bought them like 10 minutes later. Two weeks go by, a gift comes. I'm like, oh wow, what's this? Oh, I don't want this. Why did I buy this? And then I get sad because I wasted money and then I start crying and then I throw a fit. <laughs> That's why I have so much shit! What? I have 11 nugs! Do you see this? Do you think? I need 11 nugs! <laughs> but you know what? We ball because I love Dragon Age and I love Bioware, so we ball, baby! We collect those nugs! Ugh, where do you get these remixes? YouTube! I just look up. Oh no, Orshifa! Um, Final Fantasy. Lo fi. Boom. Howie, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did I miss anything else? Did I miss anything else? I feel like I missed something else. I don't know. Eddie! Eddie, thank you for the sub as well. Did that pop off? It did. Thank you. I appreciate it. Elsa Jin, how are you? Oh, what is on my lip? I, I feel like I just squished a bug. Hello, Alec. I need a round dozen. Nah, don't say that because I will buy another one. What is a nug? So nugs are like these naked rabbit mole rats from Dragon Age. I'll show you. They're these little guys. And I'm pretty sure they squeak. I found a squeaker, but it's not squeaking. It's not squeaking. Chat. Oh. They're really fucking cute. I love them so much. I have so many. I have so many of them. Because I thought that this would cure my depression. And I have never been more wrong before in my entire life. But they're fucking cute and we ball. Hi, Emmy. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yes, these are all my nugs. Look at my children. I haven't named them. But, like, that's okay. And they all squeak. But I don't think I can make them all squeak at the same time if I, like, squeeze them against my boobs. No, that's not gonna work. I know, now I have to put them all back. But you know what? That's not as, as difficult. I could do it. It's just, like, they're just, like, puzzle pieces. I just, I just put them one at a time. One. Two. I like the little brown guys. Look at them. The little brown dude. Gotta name all of them Rufus. Rufus 1, Rufus 2, Rufus 3. <laughs> 4, 5, 6. Why did I think I have 11? 7, 8, 9. Okay, I do have 11. 10, 11. There we go. Where do you even get them from? I want to go buy a nug. They are from the Bioware gear store. And did you know I'm Bioware gear store ambassador? I don't remember what my code is though. So wait till I remember what my code is and you can get a discount and I can get commission, baby. <laughs> Ordered a 10 piece and got a bonus nug. Oh my God. That's so good. I need friend for shit. Hold your horses, Anshi. I got you. Just wait a little bit and I'll give you the code, okay? Get that discount, honey bunny. <sighs> 10 out of 10 influencer right there? You right. Hi, Ben. How are you? Kelly and I'm sorry. Our new children's learning program brought to you by Bioware. Bioware, hire me to teach children how to count. One nug, two nug, three nug, four, five nug, six nug, seven nug. More. <laughs> I don't know, I can't freestyle. I can't rhyme either. Bye, Ashley, take care. 
I hope everyone is having a much better day and or week and or night than I am. Oh, I'm trying like really hard to, I guess like stay in like, in a stable state so I can jump into the story because right now I'm like, brrr, I'm buzzing all over the place. Do you know I've never seen 8 Mile? Actually, no, it's a lie. I've seen 8 Mile once, and it was because it was on Much Music. But, like, that's it. I don't even know what 8 Mile is about. Is it about spaghetti? Mom's spaghetti? What is Mom's spaghetti? I don't understand. <laughs> it is about spaghetti? Nice. I knew it. I knew it was about spaghetti. It's an Italian food documentary. Very nice. Very nice. I nailed the plot. Perfect. The tale of a rolling meatball. There's vomit on his sweater already. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. So then I don't need to watch it. I already know. I watched Little Italy again last night and oh my god. That movie will forever be my favorite movie. Hayden Christensen as an Italian pizza boy in Toronto? It does not get better than that. I just want to find the love of my life in a pizza shop. I just want to make pizza with someone. I want to be the daughter of like a pizza man and his pizza shop and have like my, you know, the love of my life be the son of the rival pizza shop owners. Why is that so fucking difficult? I don't understand. Did you know in preparation for the movie Little Italy, did you know? That Hayden Christensen actually went around and delivered pizzas to prep for his role. This man delivered pizzas to get into the Italian spirit. Italy isn't real. Italians are not real. Star-crossed pizza. Star-crossed pizza lovers. You right, Sparks? How you doing? This pre or post? This is post-Star Wars. This movie came out like four or five years ago. Mamma mia pizzeria. Ravioli sprigatoni. I don't. Just want to say thanks for being. Thanks for being. Thanks for being heart. I'm so glad that you're here with us and I appreciate you being surreal. Thank you. Is it pronounced Sumi Bito? That's how you pronounce it, right? Thank you. It's my favorite documentary about the city of Toronto you sh all should watch. It is a really good Toronto documentary. Last year, um, so Toronto has these things called like the taste of Little Italy, the taste of uh, Greek town, the taste of Little India. And they have them in the summer usually, uh, taste of like Portugal, taste of um, Poland. They're street festivals. Because in the city, they have like designated areas for different regions. Like a lot of Polish people will live in a certain area, a lot of Indian people live in a certain area, a lot of Turkish people in a certain area, etc, 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 right? And so they have like these uh, street festivals and they're so fun because they have like music from around, like from those places, they got food vendors and everything. And last year on my birthday, the taste of Little Italy was happening, but I had my very first um, BPD uh, breakdown and so I could not go. I instead cried for an entire week straight, nonstop. I'm actually still impressed by that. I know I should be like ashamed and, well not ashamed, but I should be like, damn, like I went through that. But no, it was impressive. I remember I woke up, kept crying, went to the ballet, didn't cry, came back home, kept crying, woke up the next day, cried, woke up the next day, cried, woke up the next day, cried, woke up the next day, I d literally a week straight, seven days straight. And on the seventh, like on the eighth day, I woke up and I was like, I felt like Giselle from Enchanted. Ah, ah, ah. Like I was a whole new person, which I should probably talk about with my therapist, but that's neither here nor there. So we're fine. It's okay. Anyway, I love going to those festivals. Me too, Emmy. I will, I will drag you with me to them. Okay. We will go to these festivals together. We will have a good old time. What's the name of your favorite movie? I want to watch it while I'm bored at work tomorrow. Little Italy. Little Italy. 
God said, let there be serotonin. I'm trying to so hard, I'm trying so hard to find. To, uh, I'm trying so hard to afford this event in Toronto in December. I've got a whole week to explore. Ooh, what event? Are you going to KuboCon? But like crying seven days about dehydration is pretty impressive though. It is. I was one thirsty motherfucker afterwards. And before. If you know what I mean. Food, drinks, and good company. Exactly. And I offer all three of those. I'm so excited for brunch on Sunday. You better heal me. I'm counting on it. <laughs> oh, the one you mentioned, Korea, about the dancing school run by witches. That is a Suspiria. That is Suspiria. And that is one of my favorite films, if not my favorite film. Uh, yeah, KupaCon is back. It's going to be... They're, ha they're hosting an event in Toronto in December. I'm very, 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 very excited. I don't care how cold it is out. I gotta find a cute outfit. Me fucking too. I will dress like a little thotty for you. I will hoe it up. Dude, that night we went out with Jay? I was so fucking cold! I was wearing nothing under that coat. I had a tiny little, my tiny little black dress. I'm my little, my little cardigan that did nothing. And then my coat, I was freezing, but I look good. You gotta risk it all. Risk it for the biscuit. Okay? Mool cosplay runner, that'd be so gas. Oh my god, hold on. I want to dress up Waldo as a Moogle. You know how easy that was? Or that would be? I was going to say, but hey, you look cute, so it's worth exactly. I look good. <laughs> yeah, Waldo would look so fucking cute. Waldo would look amazing. Because oh, all we need to do is put like little wings on him and a little poop, a little pom pom. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Waldo's going to be a little Moog. I'm gonna turn him into one of these little guys. Right up there. Tomorrow, chat. We're gonna be doing a little cleanup in the office. I'm gonna get a new calyx and it's gonna be white. And I'm very excited for this. So, something that like frustrates me is the fact that like my backdrop is very dark. And I always wear black and I have black hair. So it always gets lost. So I'm gonna try lightening up the space a little bit more. I may even put like curtains or something and just add more like ambient light and just, I just, I need to like brighten the place up cause it is too gloomy. I don't know, like it. I don't like it. I can't wait to be in my townhouse and have like an actual office and like start all over. I'm so excited. Moving into this condo was so last minute because like I had to and I, I just I needed a home and I needed to work. But soon no vibe, thank you, I appreciate that. But for aesthetic reasons, it's not good. My hair gets lost in it. Like I don't like that. New stream space, yes. And maybe I'll actually get a proper body pillow for Emmett because you know what's in him right now? One pillow and a bunch of <laughs> of um Blankets filling him up. You bright up my day. You bright my day up. Thank you, Lonely. Just full of nugs. Yeah, that's where the other hundred nugs are. They're just all in him. <laughs> my immersion. I'm so sorry, Kelsey. Sarah's almost a 5.5. I know. Oh my god. What do we do? When I'm at Endwalker, like, I'm scared. I, I don't know why, but I'm scared to get to Endwalker. I don't know how long it is. I don't know how much is in it. But you best believe I'm gonna make it a whole shebang. I will never shut up about it and I will stream 24 seven. It's a trip, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I've been withholding from writing um, or from continuing my pepper fic because like I have some like thoughts and like concepts that I don't know will be ex that like will ex will be executed like well, like if they'll make sense. Champagne Baba G, thank you for the 14 month reset. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna stock up on Kleenex and tissues. Aren't isn't that the same thing? Kleenex and tissues? Tissues are Kleenex. Kleenex are tissues. Kleenex is a tissue brand. Hello. Hi Apollo! It has been such a long time since I've seen you. How are you? Hi Ryden! You're you know you're ready? 
Hi, Frenzy! It's nice to see you, too! Are you planning on watching the Animal Shows after you've done the Shadowbringers patches? Shows are so good. Yes, actually, after every... After every X-Pack, I watch the, the trailers. So I'm... Uh, I'm excited. I've seen the Endwalker trailer. But I don't remember it. Because I saw it when I was in A Realm Reborn two years ago. <laughs> so, like... It meant nothing to me. It meant absolutely nothing. I don't remember anyone that was in it. I don't remember a single fucking thing. I was waiting down at Quest and I was in love with friends so I found out who it was. Ship sank quick. A. Hey, look, I... I, okay. It's weird to say that I ship Frey and Pep because I don't, but like, I, I love Frey so much and I, that that self love that little self discovery that whole thing it's beautiful self sass no it's like self it's self love it's just a lot of self love and it's it's so good i love frey i would die for frey don't you just want to go ape shit <laughs> literally literally the Dark Knight questline after Heaven's Ward, it it made Pepper make so much more sense. My poor baby, my poor trauma baby. My boy's surname is Frey, so I sort of guessed it in the intro quest because I thought it was a ghost copying the player name. Oh, okay, yeah. You got. I guess you got like kind of lucky there. That's a fun coincidence. Say hi to esteem for me. Esteem? Like self-esteem? What's up, Rotten Fiend? I'm good with self-love. I just need someone else to love me. Yo, same. Nah, I need both. I need both. I need self-love and someone to love me. I just need... I just need... A complete heart. Because, like, I only have, like, a little bit at the bottom. The heart is there, but it's like, it's it's very small. I want it to get bigger. I can't wait to finish then. How far are you in Heaven's Ward? You haven't finished it yet? Ask yourself, love, did you do the Valentine's quest this year? I did, and I don't even fucking remember it. Valentine, whatever. With the like... Oh yeah, with the kid, and she's like, I want to wear whatever I want to wear. You can't stop me. I want to wear this suit. And then they gender locked the items. Yeah. Oh my god, is there a little ladies quest? Where is it? Should I do that? Should I do that before we do MSQ? Hey, Laron. What's up? It just started, but... I did buy the little crown and the little cherry blossom earrings. They're pretty cute. It's an old da. Okay. Mm, actually, maybe I'll do it after. Hey, Rhea! How are you? Ah, uh, busy, busy. Got no time for Heaven's Word. I see how it is, Ashley. You look really... I look really? I look really. Thank you. I'm glad that I look really. That's actually what I was going for. Thank you. Bye, Frenzy. Enjoy your day at the gym and enjoy your day off and all the goodies that come with that. I haven't even locked Idol Shower yet. You're so close, bestie. I'm so interested in Final Fantasy XIV, but I know how I am and don't want to dive down a new rabbit hole that is that deep. See, that's that's what, I'm, what my thought process was with this game. I avoided it like the plague. And now look at me. I am in hell. This game is so good. It has properly consumed me. But I'm not even mad about it. I'm happy to be here. Any interest in Final Fantasy 16? Is that the new one that's coming out? No. If it's the new one that is coming out, I am not interested in, interested in it in the slightest. Um. Unfortunately. Because I'm still not comfy 
with the whole, oh, this is based on medieval Europe, therefore everyone is white bullshit, which doesn't make any sense because that's not true. Not everyone during that era was white. So I don't, I'm, I don't care. I don't, I don't fucking care. It looks good. It looks good. And if I play it, it'll probably be off stream. Like, I don't fucking get that logic. I don't think that interview was taken out of context because the other day, another person confronted Yoshi P about it. And Yoshi P said the same thing. So I don't... Yeah. There's a lot that I want to say. Yeah, he doubled down. There's a lot that I want to say that I will not say because it is not my place. But there is a lot of... Of... Of racism and colorism in games made by companies in certain parts of this world. And I will use Genshin Impact as an example. Genshin Impact made an entire area, an entire beautiful new region in the game based off the Middle East. And the darkest person... The darkest character that came out of that was lighter than me. The characters, the playable characters from the Middle Eastern region that is based off of North Africa, South Asia, like, like Western Eastern Europe, all are pasty. Paper white. And so I'm not, like, I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, like, I'm not, it's not my fucking place. But I will not platform, I will not platform games like that anymore. You know? I can, like, I can make up excuses for certain games, but for some things I will not. You know? Hi Pelias, I am, I'm okay. I'm fine, I'm good. I'm alive, and that's what matters, how are you? Literally is your place, thank you. It's just, I, I feel like it's not, like I feel, I don't know. I always feel like I'm talking over people forgetting that I myself am a minority. <laughs> like, I always forget I'm a brown person because no, no one ever includes me in brown people shit, so I'm like, well. <laughs> Is this for uh, FF16? Yeah, we're, I was talk. I I was explaining my reasoning for not playing FF16 um, by directly using Genshin Impact as an example. Sometimes I forget that chats aren't really an open forum. Up from debate, my bad. Oh, shut the fuck up! Oh, shut up! Oh, f a fucking leave! Go, get out! Go, go home! Go somewhere else! Go! Go find another streamer who's gonna pander to white people. Go. It's not me. It's not fucking me. It's just a game. Uh, mm, a debate. I want to talk about racism. I want to tell you that you and your people don't matter. I'm just trying to have a healthy discussion. I just want to have a little debate ski because every single platform, every Twitch chat is like Reddit to me. So I'm going to go and be an incel everywhere that I possibly can. And then when they don't want to listen to my blatant racism, they're a terrible person. And I'm the problem. Oh! Oh my god! Oh Maran! Shame on you! I'm telling you, I told you. Don't don't fuck with me, chat, please! Don't 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 <laughs> Major side eye, bombastic side eye. Ugh. Like, look, listen, listen to me! There are white people everywhere! Hey. 
friends I joined at a tense moment, but I'm glad to be here. Thank you for the 12 month resub, Cannibal Llama. Welcome back to the coven. I hope you enjoy your one year resub. Like, there are white people in every game. I'm so sorry, white people, but I'm sick of seeing you. I'm so sick of seeing you everywhere. I just want a little bit of melanin, a little bit of spice, a little bit of zest every so often. I'm so sick of the plain white bread that's untoasted with a little bit of butter on top and maybe some ham. I, I don't want it anymore. And this, I, it's got, I got nothing against y'all. Well, I got nothing against y'all, but you're everywhere. Let us have a fucking moment, bro. Like, here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, you know what? Let's use Genshin Impact again. Let's bring it back, okay? Genshin Impact. Every fucking region, white. There are like two brown people. I think one black guy. That's it. White, 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 white. It's like popcorn. So when you go to the popcorn and you don't want it like buttered and it's all just like pop, 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 white people. Anyways, and then they give us this Middle Eastern region and they're still white. Okay, so it's like there's like what? They're like five, six different regions so far in Genshin. Okay, so we got like we got let's let's pretend it's six. Okay, so we got five whiteies. And then one supposed, like, POC-dominated area. POC-dominated area is also white. So that one, one-sixth of people are like, hey, why couldn't we get some color there? And then the white people come in and they're like, bleh, 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 bleh. Why does it have to be about you? It's just a video game! Let them be white! Bleh! I don't want to see you! Bleh! You have five out of six white areas! Why does there need to be more? Shouldn't you be pushing for this? Shouldn't you want there to be more spice? I thought you guys like fetishizing brown women. What do you mean you don't want us now? Like, I can't win. We cannot win. I just want one dub. One. And that dub is not does not stand for white, it stands for win. The other W. Kareem, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I hope you had a good I hope you had a great stream. <laughs> Welcome friends, my name is Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy 14 streamer. I'm on the brink of an episode. Don't try me tonight. <laughs> I am a walking W. Thank you. Let her cook. Let me cook. <laughs> Top ten round Syra. Thank you Syra for the cat. <laughs> Thank you for the fifteen hundred biddies, Mango. I appreciate it. I'm getting my whole life in the streamer <laughs> for real. I got you. Ah. Oh. Cooking with spices, cooking with spices. Oh my god, whenever- wait. When I rant, can we call it- can we call it cooking with spices? I was gonna say, can we call it curry talk, but that's racist. <laughs> but I'm brown, I can say that. I can say that. I'm allowed. I love curry. I eat cur I smell like curry sometimes, bro. And that shit smells good! Nah, that's one thing that I don't fucking. I, no, 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 no. This is not a. No, 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 no. So, nah, no, 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 no. So, so, okay, listen, listen. Okay, so, okay, so, sometimes. When I was a kid, people would be like, oh, you smell like curry. Ew, curry muncher. Bro, curry smells so fucking good. I love it when my friends smell like curry. When my buddies, when my brown kids. When they smell like curry, I knew I was home. I was like, what did Auntie G make? Give me some of that. Let's share. I want some. Dal puri, give me. Sarah taking chat to the spice rack. That's, 
the spice rack. <laughs> I do have LNR tattooed on my finger so I don't know the difference between left and right. But the spice rack is here and the spice rack is here to deliver. And like, I will sometimes I'll get into an Uber and it smells like curry and bro, it is the nicest fucking smell in the world. It makes me so happy. Like, my sub, what were you eating? Where did you come? Like, what did you have? I want some. Like, can I go get some from your mom? Did you make it? Did you did? All right, I'm marrying you. Like, I love the smell of curry. Y'all just racist. Not everyone can smell like fucking, I don't know, pancakes and baked beans in the morning. Thank you, Ace. I appreciate it. Yeah, this top is pretty cute. I like it. Funky. That's all slander pancakes? No, no, no. I make good pancakes. No, I make bomb pancakes. I made pancakes, um, the other- I made pancakes the other day, and I put a little bit too much, uh, French vanilla extract, but I put, like, cinnamon and stuff too, and I put blueberries. Oh my god, it was delicious. I will make everyone pancakes. Chat, do you want mommy to make you pancakes? Did you have anything to eat today? If not, that's okay. I can make you some pancakes. Put a little bit of whipped cream if you want. Put a lot of syrup. Put some butter on that. Put some bacon on the side. Maybe some hash browns. I got you. <laughs> I just realized we're not in just chatting. We've been in the Final Fantasy category this whole time. That's fine. We ball. <laughs> Recovered Final Fantasy just like you know what you write. Emmett's here. I had Orshifon here too. The FF people needed to hear this. Nah, you're so right. You're so right. You're spitting. Okay, are we ready for some FF now? <laughs> Is this gonna be our, our segue? Should I put the boy back? No, I'm keeping the boy in my boobs. He's keeping them nice and warm. Alright. I updated our sub count thing, by the way. Because I hated the font, and I thought I'd put this in he I'd put this here instead. Every fucking time we get above 700 subs, I have a depressive episode, I don't stream, and then we lose them all. Every single time. I'll never forget, we had 980. I was so close to 1k and unlocking a new emote. I had a depressive episode, didn't stream for like four months, and it dropped. I will do better. <laughs> You're my favorite stream, so I respect you too much. Promethean! Do you want me to cry? Is that what you're trying to fucking do? You're in here being nice to me? Nah. Thank you, I appreciate that. Enjoy your dinner, Ashley. When you come for Final Fantasy, but mommy offers to make you pancakes, bacon, and hash browns, yeah. We love to see it. We love to fucking see it, baby. We love to see it. God, I haven't fucking seen that emote in a long time. I haven't seen a gotcha emote in so long. When you're in your next episode, just do a sleeping sire stream. True. Not. I do have my VTuber. Could I do that? She has like a sleepy, a sleepy little face. But like, I wouldn't be getting paid to like do that though. Unless we did it like, like a subathon and y'all extended it so I could keep sleeping. Or she want to hang out in the spice rack? As he should. As he should. It's a very comfy place to be. I still haven't done my one year um, Twitch partner subathon. And I've been a partner now for two years, coming on to three. And I still haven't done it. I don't even know if I want to at this point. Subathons scare me. I remember I did one and it went over a day and I said, fuck y'all, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but now that Twitch allows you to go to sleep and shit, we ball. Okay. Are we good? Are we chilling? We're chilling. 
We're chilling. We ball. We ball. Oh, Rengoku's back. Okay. Okay. What am I doing? Where are we going? Admiral's Resolve. Oh, yeah. We were speaking with Merle Whip, weren't we? I don't even remember, like, much of the context, to be honest. Okay. Let's see. So, this X-Pack is apparently... Not X-Pack, but this patch is apparently very short. So, I was told that we only have a few more quests left until it's done. Which I love to hear, honestly. So, this is 5.4. And then after 5.4, we have 5.5 and 5.55. I think is what people said. What day is your birthday? June 16th. I am unfortunately a Gemini. Actually, no, not unfortunately. I am proudly a Gemini. Geminis are great. Don't listen to the stereotype. <gasps> also, my Reaper is at level 90, so I will not be playing it during Endwalker. <laughs> um, I could continue leveling Gunbreaker or Sage. I think I could do Sage and Endwalker. No, that's not fun. Whatever. You know what? I'll just... Hello? Is my game... Hello? What is this lag? Hello? Mm, I'm gonna play Dark Knight for now because why wouldn't I? Um, maybe yeah, maybe maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll get Gunbreaker up, and we'll play Gunbreaker in Endwalker. Gemini Squad. Good night, Mango. Take care. Hi, Theory. Hello. By way of a first step, I suggest we split up and make inquiries around town. Someone must know this sick card. Oh yeah, we have to go look for this person? I don't remember. If you could approach the pirates, Pepper, the rest of us will seek out merges and adventures. Sounds good. Okay, where am I going? We're going up? Okay. The upper decks. So I think I could just take us, this guy to take me up, right? No, I lied. Is it this guy? The lift attendant. Yes, that makes more sense. Drowning Wench, airship landing, drowning wench, is it drowning wench? Yeah, I think. I love the gunbreaker aesthetic. I hate the sound effects for the gunbreaker. So to me, the gunbreaker sounds like all my it sounds like all my abilities are being dodged. It sounds like I'm hitting like a shield. Oh my god, my pepper ears, thank you. Long time lurker on Switch and Socials, love your content, it's well the fun. Aw, thank you, Theory! Well, welcome to my Twitch chat for the first time. Oh my god, am I sweating? Oh my god, how am I already sweaty? I don't know what's going on, chat. I don't know if it's like a hormonal thing. I have to get it checked out. But for the last two months, I have been like super stinky. I have been sweating like crazy. And it's like I won't even be hot, but my armpits will like drip. I think I'm going to get Botox. I kind of want to get Botox in my armpits to stop it because I hate it. <gasps> or Siobhan, you fill out the spice rack. I don't know where my clips are. Oh, there they are. I'm not sure if you're on antidepressants, but mine make me sweat at the drop of a hat. Super annoying. I am not on antidepressants because they make me, um, uh, S-word. They make me very bad S-word. So I do a lot of CBT, like cognitive uh, behavioral therapy, um, and I basically just have to like endure and survive. Hashtag the last of us. I'm sweaty 24 seven when anything vaguely social happens. It's so shit, oh my God, yes! Every fucking time. I carry around like teeny tiny little like bottles of like my favorite perfumes like and especially rollers that way I can just be like do 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 do. It's so bad and no matter what deodorant I wear like it doesn't make a difference because like it might be like an anxiety thing that like I'm not like thinking about you know. <laughs> Look for the light. Fuck the fireflies though. I don't know Botox help with that. Yeah, so like I, I don't remember like what the science is. I think it's just like it clogs or like it fills the pores. You said CBT? Yeah, cock and ball torture is what helps me get through um, my misery. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to start saying now. Chat, I'm sorry, but that's how I cope with my depression and my OCD and BPD. Cock and ball therapy or torture. Same thing. 
Does anyone want to be a test subject? A mommy? Is that a mother? Pasta salad! Pasta salad, I love you. I'm gonna blow you a kiss, pasta salad. I know you're um, busy with your um, little aura, but I just wanted to give you a kiss anyways, because I like your name. I'm gonna volunteer red for that one. Ayo, hey, red, you down for some CBT? Oh, also volunteer red! Oh, red! <laughs> I just choked a cock and ball torture? Well, usually that's not what happens during cock and ball torture. Red didn't say no, no. He only said a question mark, question mark, question mark. What are your thoughts on a spice emote? Let's see. What would the spice emote even be? I have my sip emote. Should I change it into me eating, like, black pepper? Oh my god, pepper, peppermint. Yeah, we got, we got a little sippy sip. Oh my god, is that a bean on fire? Spicy bean? Amazing. Sorry, give me one second, chat. Um... Sorry, give me one second. Oh, I'm not gonna. We're good, I promise. I'm so sorry. chat one second okay. 
We're good. We're fine. It was just um, uh, my next cock and ball torture uh, uh, meeting. Had to postpone it. Uh, found some clever way to make coin, they say, and traded for it. Trade it, trade it for Moonskate's place at Old Hill for sad. Okay. There was a time we raced executioners for our pick of the Empire's fleet, but the Garleans are gone and them days with them. Oh, and to which we've all of us had to look for other ways to make ends meet with that jumped up bilge rat sicker landing the juiciest, whatever it may be. God, I fucking hate when they like type like pirates. Like. I get it. I can read it in the accent, but when you make me have to read fur and yur and yar and whatever the fuck, like, I don't want to read it. I don't want to read the words like that. I want to hear it in my head, you know? Not that we sirens are struggling, mind. We do well enough garden fishing, fishing boats from the fishbacks and other beasties. Get the first pick of the produce for our trouble, see? Quality stuff at a bargain price. Let's see past our sisters as as can't sail on account of getting old or wounded or with child and they cook it up and sell it for a pretty profit simple oh i miss the old ways don't get me wrong but when i see the girls with their little ones left to myself life of peace and quiet ain't all that bad okay one more now the cat girl behind her freaks me out her lips look like she's smiling she's cute but she does look like she's permanently smiling You got big goo goo eyes. Okay, where do I go now? Where's the next one? Oh, north. Okay, easy. I live for the pirate lesbians. Wait, what? I, I still said my, my chai statement. I'll spill the chai. That is so funny! Spill the chai? Oh my god, I love you for that. I will never forget when I had... When I... I Like, so I have this friend. And we're friends, okay? We are friends. Not acquaintances, friends. I teased her for saying, um, chai tea. And obviously, because, like, it's Twitter, people took it way out of pocket and they, like started bullying her and stuff and I told her like oh no 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 like I didn't mean like any offense I just think it's like funny but like enjoy your enjoy your latte like it's not in the world I hope it was good you know like whatever it is fucking funny because I'm a brown person I'm gonna laugh Sybil is that you hello but like fucking whatever and then someone like literally two years later aka like this year a year or two years later they were like um aren't you a bully like isn't it kind of like ironic of you to you know be anti-bullying when you bullied someone for saying chai tea first of all whitey really first of all i was not bullying her second of all you're really gonna tell a brown girl that she shouldn't laugh at people for saying chai tea? Colonizers have some nerve. Wait, what? Curious about Sickard, are you? As am I, my friend, as am I. Sadly, I know nothing of the man, save that the bloody executioners experienced a marked improvement in their fortunes after his promotion. Quite how he achieved this is a matter of, of some debate. As you know, the Thalassakasakarapatakpa permits, permits us to attack only Garlean vessels, yet these have all but vanished from the sea since the Empire turned in upon itself. In order to adapt, we Krakens have taken to trading with the East, but the executioners are less forward-looking. I cannot imagine how they would willingly abandon the old ways. So how, then, are they lining their coffers? Whatever their secret, they are not like to share it with their rivals. But my happy will have more luck. Okay, let's go find Alfino now. And he's back by the etherite, presumably? Oh no, he's just down here. Okay. Ha-ba-ba. How did- like, how did that meme even start? Who made that video? It feels like a Tumblr meme. Do you know what I mean? I just looked up Spill the Tea's origin. What's the origin, Kayla? Spill the Tea. Oh, wait. Lower decks. I was baited. 
I made that video. I knew it. It's older than Tumblr? Okay, that also checks. What video? The Hapakapa. Hapapatapaka. That video. It's all in the 80s? Oh, it's from 2015. Oh, wait. The phrase uh, comes from Spill the Tea, where the tea stands for truth, which was introduced by drag queen Lady Chablis in the 1994 book Minute in the Garden of Good and Evil. However, the Spill the Tea phrase didn't come become popular in mainstream culture until 2018. Damn! So it's Spill the Truth. I always thought it was like Spill the Tea, like you're, you're sipping tea, and it's like, oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't really know what I thought, but that is better. It's older than that book? Is it really? I'm learning so much. I am learning so much. Sumi, Sumi, correct us. Correct us. What is the truth? It's black queer culture? Oh! Oh, then I probably shouldn't be saying spill the tea then. Can I say spill the chai? Question mark? Tumblr came out in 2015, 27, 20, 2007. Wait, you were, wait, I'm so lost. This com, I'm like, I feel, I feel, I feel like we are having like 10 different discussions and I can't even like keep up. Don't spill chai who raised you. Listen, my mother would kill me if I spilled chai. God, my mom makes good fucking chai. Also, hi Jay, how are you? Would you like some chai? Would you like to come over for a chai latte? I got you, babes. I got you. You thought the dog video was a Tumblr video? I thought it was older Tumblr's older than the dog video. Oh, that's what you're saying. Okay. It's all coming together now. Okay, thank you for the TLTR, Kelsey. I see everyone has returned. Now, who would like to go first? I guess me, because you always make me go first. Yep. So, just as their impaler prey began to disappear, Sicard turned the executioner's fortunes around with a mysterious new source of income. Whatever it is, it's nothing to scoff at. According to a tavern keeper I spoke to, the crew has been, have been indulging themselves as never before, but no amount of drink seems to loosen their tongues as to how they are coming by their coin. For, for my part, I spoke with a reporter from the Harbor Herald. The publication has been investigating the secret of the executioner's good fortune and making little headway. Plainly, the executioners do not wish the nature of their business to be made public. I don't remember why any of this is important, I'm not gonna lie, chat. And I think I may know why. In the course of making inquiries on Hawker's Alley, an interesting fact came to light. The executioners began to enjoy better fortunes. The price of crystal went into sharp decline. A sudden fall in demand, I was told. Is it because we need more crystals? Or... Alfonso? No, what was his name? Archie? No, Angelo. Curious, I contacted Hori Boulder, who is who ha who has been watching the movements of the beast tribes, and my suspicions were proven correct. Despite ever worsening relations between the beast tribes and the Thalassacar, neither Titan nor Leviathan have made an appearance of late, so it seems that the kobolds and the Sahagin lack the means with which to summon them. Do you mean to say the executions are div are? I don't know how to pronounce that. Divesting them of their crystals. All indications point to the conclusion. Yes, though we have no hard evidence as yet, we must investigate further. No, agreed. So how do we proceed? Well, I have an idea about that. In fact, I've already taken the liberty of making certain provisions. What does that mean? What are you up to, Alfie? No. What are you giving me? What is this? Farmer's breakfast sausage? Oh, I'll fucking go. I can go for some sausages right now. Can your mom make me chai when I come visit? Absolutely. Hi, Nissan. Hello. Can your mom make me lactose free chai when I come visit? Absolutely. Don't worry. I just realized that Jay is a mod here, but he's not a mod in the Discord server, which means he's not in the in the know in the loop for 
for modding mayhem, so I'm actually gonna fix that real quick. Where are you, Mr. Charlemagne? He's the least important mod, I guess. But what's new? We get to haze him. <laughs> <laughs> The search for Sicard Alfino is the look of a man with a plan. During my inquiries, a disgruntled merchant informed me that a wholesaler of crystals had recently arrived in Lumsilaminsa, offering words at prices far undercutting the competition. After asking around, I was able to gain an introduction and will shortly pose as a potential buyer in a bid to establish the crystal's provenance. The man is due to be at Oshan's embrace in Lower Lenosha shortly. I suggest we make our way there at once. Alrighty, Alfino! Whatever you say. Okay, so uh, do I have two quests left now? <gasps> is that is that a wild sparks? Okay, so we're going to Lower Lenosha. Right. Wait, why are there so many mods in chat? What do I do? I know this is a rare time where I actually have a bunch of mods here. Who would have thought? I'm like not here though. Dude, we, why do we have mod chat right now? What is going on? What is going on? The one fucking time. What? Like, this mod army, I know I hate it. Go away. Leave me alone. Where are the non-mods? What is happening? I only have mod viewers right now. This is embarrassing. My mods are gross. They fucking smell. They haven't showered in 10 years. I don't want to break the combo. No, break it. Break it. Tell them they stink. Tell them they smell. Sniffa, hello? <laughs> stinky bobinkies. Nothing but stinky bobinkies in this chat. <laughs> that one dude wanted to debate racism and the mods swarmed through. They were like, hello? <laughs> racism in my queer POC streamer's chat? I don't think so. <laughs> They're very protective! What can I say? We're in good hands, I hope. <laughs> Their swords are covered in funk. Yeah, they nasty! They nasty! Not spicy enough? I know, don't worry. I'll sprinkle some paprika on them. Oh, big sweat! Wait, is it you? Please be voiced. No! That appears to be our merchant. Wait, what? That appears to be our merchant. Wish me luck. Wait, if he truly is in league with the bloody executioners, he will surely be wary of those allied to the Admiral. The Scions not least of all. Compared to yours and Peppers, mine is an unfamiliar face. Let me play the role of buyer. Oh, okay. Graha is right, and even if you aren't recognized on sight, you look too, um, genteel to be mixing with society's underbelly. Why am I coming out in an accent all of a sudden? What the hell? Have I pronounced that correctly? Genteel? But very well, I leave it to you. Wait, but very well, I leave it to you, Graha. Just like genteel? Genteel? He's too posh. He's too posh. Got business with me, cat boy! Straight to the fucking point, and you know what? I applaud it. I applaud it. What's up, cat boy? That's how I'm gonna start greeting all of y'all now. That's how I'm gonna start greeting every single one of y'all now. What's up, cat boy? You here for me? You here for the spice rack? You wanna do a little sniff sniff in the spice rack, cat boy? Yeah? That's what I thought. Did we just watch Graha Tia experience a microaggression? <laughs> He's getting attacked! The Lollapills are displaying racism to Mr. Grahatia! <laughs> Not me always thinking Grahatia is red. What's the difference? They're both cat boys with red hair that simp for pepper. <laughs> he 
got a macroaggression. That ain't no microaggression. <laughs> I understand now. This is why that person was saying it's just a game. They like the racism in the game, and they don't want that to be changed. They knew the scene was coming up. It's all coming together. We're coming full circle. <laughs> Got business with me, cat boy? God damn, I wish I had business with cat boys. With their little fucking grippy hands. Oh my god! I need some, like, holy water. Anyway. I- <clears throat> You're the crystal wholesaler? Oh, <laughs> look at him! Like, look at him! Look at him in his stupid little smile! He went, Hi! I want crystals! <laughs> He's so cute! He's so cute! I like how the Lala's blonde haired and blue eyed. Oh my god. Oh my god. It writes itself. It writes itself. Oh my god, chat, I cut my hair, I forgot. I had an episode and I cut my hair. It's school picture day for Graha. Oh my god. Smile! That I am. But you're no merchant. So what do you want the crystals for? Oh no. Um, I uh I got he baby. Oh my god, he baby. Oh, look at us, you idiot! You'll give yourself away! Oh my god! Grahantia! How? Baby boy! How were you so good at pretending to be the Crystal Exarch and hiding your fucking... Like, the, the facade of the Crystal Exarch. You were so good at concealing your identity. And the second the mask is off, you turn into baby boy Coochie Mama? And you can't do shit? He is crumbling! Please, let me just swaddle him. Oh, my sweet baby. Oh, my baby. Oh, you're doing- oh. Oh, I see. You're a weaponsmith, am I right? You need crystals to make staffs like that fine specimen you've got there. <laughs> That's right! I am indeed a weaponsmith, and I use naught but the finest materials. I, I bid you show me your wares. Well, we don't just invite anybody into our storehouses. It takes time to establish trust, you understand? Look, I have a large and urgent commission. If the quality is satisfactory, I will not quibble over the price. Large, you say, Graha? Alright, it's plain that no that's no ordinary crystal adorned in your staff. So I'll make an exception. Come with me. Oh no, they're gonna lead him into a back alley. Oh, honey boo boo. I'm- I'm so proud of you. This is not gonna go well. This is gonna go south so fast. It seems to be working. Let's follow them. Famous last words. Famous last words. My boy's gonna get jumped. It's gonna be CBT all over again, chat. Okay, where do I go? This way. <sighs> the hood comes off and now he's baby girl mode. <laughs> baby fuses ancient. He's a baby old man. He's an old baby man. He's a baby. He's baby girl. That is my wife. Grahatia is literally baby girl. I would die for him. My poor baby. You know what Grahatia needs? He needs like those those leash backpacks. I gotta put him in like a baby bjorn or something. Keep that boy strapped. They went into the tunnel. I told you! They went into a tunnel? My cat boy in Christ. My cat boy in Heidelin, you are fucked. Or getting fucked. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's Jay! Jay, what are you doing here? Oh, he's dropping some eaves? You won't find any finer. Especially not for the price. 
Indeed. I would expect to pay more than double for such quality. How could they possibly be so cheap? Because they're fake. They're not real. There's nothing unlawful about them, if that's your worry. They're from Ogomoro, if you take my meaning. Stuff's as pure as it gets. He won't be disappointed. So, how much do you want? Or they are real, but he's gonna kill us. Something's not right. But what? Ogomoro, take him to the kobolds, just as we suspected. Oh? Whose feet are these? That's enough. Shut your gobs and turn around. Slowly. Okay. Wait, who are you? Wait, you're kinda hot. Oh no. I'm so scared. Oh, it's just them. Okay. Oh, you're- Hey. Hey, Sicard, we've been, um, we've been looking all over for you. Um... This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? Acting captain of the bloody executioners. Please don't execute me. No need to introduce yourselves. We know who you are. Scions. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And we also know you've been chatting to the Admiral. You've got eyes and ears everywhere, see? Comes with being the only true pirate crew left in Limsa. So you establish you ain't here to buy crystals? The question is, what are you here for? You're bold to reveal yourself to us without knowing our objective. But that would explain your swift rise to power. Ooh, sorry. You have spoken plain, and so I shall return the favor. We came here to learn why the bloody executioners oppose the admiral's will. And we have our answer. Should Limsa Lamenta make peace with the kobolds, you would lose the source of your newfound wealth. I see. That's right. Just to remind you, though, we ain't breaking any rules here. The law forbids us from attacking any vessel not flying the imperial flag. But it don't say nothing about beastmen. Good evening, Sai. Miss you. Vince! Hi, Vince! Thank you for the 8 month reason. BB, how are you? Welcome back to the Country Badge Months and your stay. Look, another mod. All the fucking mods are here. Why? Hello? <laughs> Hi, Suplexes and Tacos. What's up? Only reason we keep our operation nice and quiet is because we don't want no one taking our business. Wait. Just listen to the end, will you? For what it's worth, I have the highest respect for you and yours. Her, especially. Me? Oh, wait. Does he mean Alize? I hope he means me. Well, the Maelstrom were worrying about dirtying their fancy red clobber. Uh, you lot st uh, stormed Yugamoro and battered Bleed and Titan himself. Raised a mug to you when I heard the news. And now we're following in your fur. In your fur. fur, fur, fur. <laughs> And now we're following in your footsteps, making sure the beastmen never summon their stinking gods again. Practically your successors we are. When there were still imperial ships about, we did our bit for Limsa and went after him. But with the Garleans gone, there's no one left to ply our trade on except the beastmen. Let's have that, eh? It's only fair. Contentious, though, though some may find your views, it is true that you have broken no laws. That being so, I see no reason why you should not state your case to look to the Admiral's face, unless the acting captain of the only true pirate crew left in Limsa Lamenta has some other cause to hide in a cave. Are they summoning something? Hmm. Well said. Well said indeed. Are they using- what are they using- like, what? Alright, I'll meet with the Admiral. I'll even provide the venue. The Estel- Astelicia? I trust you won't turn down the invitation. Wait, what's that? I'm so confused. I'm just the emergency mod. You're one of many. I like how I was like complaining about not having enough mods and now suddenly like everyone is like, I'm here for you. Sarah, I'm here. I'm your favorite mod. I'm here. I'm modding. I'm doing my job. Okay, so do I have one more quest? Are we almost done? 
Six of us? Yeah! That's all of you! <laughs> On rough seas. Alfino is keen to report back to the Admiral. I thought myself the hunter, but it turns out I was the prey. It's time I reminded that the pirate powers of Limsa Lamensa are not to be trifled with. But all's well that ends well. Grazie, yes, tell me pro uh, pro provoke, prov provocate, provocation has a desired effect, and, and Sicard has agreed to a meeting. Whoa, I can't speak. Let us hurry back to Limsa Lamensa and pass on his invitation to the Admiral. You also have a VIP here? Who? Who? Oh, I have three more? I thought I was almost done! Uh, I thought I had way less than that. Hmm. Are you trying to go to the fan fest? I want to go to fan fest. But unfortunately, I have a Fall Out Boy concert on the 30th, so I don't think I'll actually be able to even attend FanFest. But I will try to go to KupoCon in Toronto at the end of the year. <laughs> VIP, Vlad, important person. True. Live, Vlad, love. Live, Vlad, love. <laughs> Are we doing my FanFest stream? Maybe I'll go to KupoCon and drown my sorrows. Do it. Let's do it. Let's all go to KupaCon in Toronto. I'll go to KupaCon if you do. I want to. I would love to. I want to go to Final Fantasy stuff. I want to. I really wanted to do FanFest this year. Does that mean I got to come? Yes. I drag Vlad to every con now because he is like my middleman dude. When we went to Fan Expo, I guess I'll have to come to you. What a shame. You do owe me a visit, Vince. Um, but when we went to Fan Expo, it was fucking great. Because, like, people would recognize me, but they would also recognize Vlad. And so they would go up to Vlad and be like, hey, is that Syra? Hey, can we take a pic? <laughs> Iconic. And yes, I have a bunch of sprouts that we can pin to our head. We can all show up to KupoCon wearing sprouts. Pepper, your companions have already reported to the command room. Will you be joining them? Yes. Welcome back, my friends. What news? They have been stealing crystals from the kobolds. My thanks for solving the mystery and securing a meeting besides. Suffice it to say, I accept this. I Suffice to say, I accept the card's invitation, and I would have you join me as my guest. The future of Limsa hangs upon the meet the outcome of this meeting, and I would have the scions present to bear witness. Please be voiced. I want to hear mommy. Look who's come crawling! Traitor! Yes. You can shove your piece! You can shove your piece! Welcome aboard, Admiral. I'll wager you don't remember me. God, I want to suck him dry. Acting captain of the bloody executioners no. at your service. Twas kind of you to invite us. Now, if Captain Hillfear has a message for me, I bid you speak it. God, I miss World, uh, Merlewib's old VOA. We have just the one demand. That you forget this bilge about making peace with the Beastmen. Ours is a nation of pirates. Always has been, always will be. Deny us our right to plunder, and you deny who we are. And you deny who we are. Oh my god. Too bloody wrong. Terrible. Terrible. Pirates till we die. What we want, we take. God, so Piracy has no place in our future. Damn! 
Welcome! What did she say? What was that? Pirates have no place. Our nation has prospered through piracy, it is true. Yet it is but one part of our long and storied history. Centuries ago, our ancestors led a failed rebellion and were driven from their homes with little more than the shirts on their backs. In fear of their lives, they sailed south until they came to these shores. Hey, yo, Limsalore. I thought it was just the cum dumpster place. Finding the land occupied by kobolds, however, they were forced to turn to piracy in order to survive. And survive they did. But not so long ago, when the Empire threatened to crush everything we'd built, we set aside piracy and joined hands with our neighbors. This too was in order to survive. And survive we did. Time after time we fought the Empire, and time after time we won, oh. and through trade with our newfound allies, we prospered more than we ever did through pillaging and plundering. The Empire teeters on the brink of collapse. Ere long, provinces so like Whirlit and Bosia and many others will regain their is freedom. Is like blurring with her hair. <laughs> when they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of commerce. The tides favor us and the ocean beckons with her vast bounty. I really thought, I'm sorry. So Limsa Lamensa will forever be, will forever be the cum city to me. It is just full of ERPers and cum. Every time Pepper comes back from Limsa, her hair is a little bit whiter. I really thought she said, when they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of comers. I thought for a hot second that it was canonized. But if we cling to the old ways, this great ship we call Limsa will trade the boundless seas for a lagoon. Shall we scorn the world's wealth for a plundered pittance then? Or shall we embrace change and thrive like our ancestors before us? The choice is yours. But if we are to prosper in the coming age, the whole of Vilbrand must become our ship and a kobold and Sahagin our crewmates. Yes, mommy. Unity. Oh. Rousing words. Might even be some truth in them. But pirating's all we've ever known. And we ain't about to give it up just because you say so. You know who he sounds like? Have y'all seen... Oh, wait. Still. We're all the Minsons here and no one wants a war. So where does that leave us? Have y'all seen, um, The Hobbit? You know, I forgot his name. But you know when they get to Lake Town, the little grubby dude with the unibrow who like steals coins and dresses as a woman in the third movie? He sounds just like him. He sounds just like him. I fucking forgot his name. I cannot believe I forgot his name. The rat. The rat. Yes. And I can't unhear it. I never made it to the third movie. What? The third, the extended version of the third movie? Fucks. Long before you became Admiral, I heard you was captain of the League of Lost Bastards. That true? If so, you'd know how we pirates settle our differences. Oh no! Don't hurt mommy. Oh. She's like, I ain't scared. A jewel. Very well. As Admiral of Limsa Laminsa, I accept your challenge. Wait, I'm scared. Wait, but they're both so sexy. Am I gonna have to play as Merlewib? 
Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. Oh, they're gonna do the the walk 10 feet ahead and then pa or whatever. Is he gonna cheat? Is he not gonna turn on three? Or shoot on three or whatever? Oh no. Oh no. My butthole and my pussy are clenched. I didn't think I could clench this hard. That is mother. That's more than 10 feet. Okay, they're going to the end. Edge of the boat. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no shot! This ain't over. Not till one of us is dead. Finish the job, or I will. Wee -hoo -hee! Bulge, booby. Is the captain, Captain Elfair? Ye fool, twas over afore it began. Fuck up. Captain. Seems the whelps have been yapping while their master was abed. God, I wish I was yapping for my master. Sorry. Sorry. I'm down bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen I'm sorry. well, all of ye. Since the signing of the Galadian Accord, we all of us have been part of the same crew. Big three the zero. Crew with a good Thanks ship for the cutimus over the years less than three. Thank you, Kendrilla, for the 30 month reset. At the I helm of that it. ship is the Admiral. And you are welcome. And tis she who decides where we sail. Was I not clear on that point? Or did you forget whose deck you stand on? Nay. Then what in the seven hells are you playing at? Mommy and Daddy are fighting. It's all we know, Captain. If we ain't pirates, I what guess are Daddy we? Daddy and Daddy. You're bloody idiots is what you are. Idiots with your own lives ahead of ye. Thank you, Rumpkin. Ye can do anything ye want. Be anything ye want. We're pirates, I, and we pirates love our loot. But that ain't our first love. Our first love is the sea. The sea and what she brings us. Freedom. So hold fast to that. Let the brine crusted usk that stands before you now be the last of them as new naught save out of steel. And make of yourselves a new breeder pirate! Lad, I made ye me right hand because I saw something in ye. And I still do. You have the makings of a captain. All you lack's the belief. Why is this so sweet? Well now, it seems we're of one mind after all. Why am I so? Apologies for, for the misunderstanding, Admiral. Heartwarming pirate. We're arc. with ye, wherever ye be headed. You have my thanks, Hilfir. <laughs> Your choice of dueling pistol did not escape my notice. <laughs> Good old Annihilator. Ender of many a proud pirate's voyage. <laughs> Damn! 
Mistbeards vanished into legend. And it won't be long before I take my rest in the depths. Yet be that as it may, the old ways can only truly die when we've dealt the Empire the telling blow. There'll be stormy seas ahead, no doubt. But I'm trusting ye to steer us through to the other side. Why am I getting so emotional? I don't give two shits about the Lamincens. But all of a sudden, I'm about to be the booty for these pirates. They want their booty? They want to go plunder some booty? I got you! Take me! Though I had anticipated a duel, I did not foresee that Heal Fear would intervene. But full glad am I that he did. It would have been a shame to kill the boy. Instead, the whelp has learned a valuable lesson, and we have made peace amongst ourselves. All that remains to do likewise with our neighbors. Not well, my thing, even two months recent, I appreciate it. Chat, how do you feel about me keeping the alerts on during, um, during MSQ? Because normally I have them, uh, disabled. That way, like, they don't interrupt cutscenes and stuff, but what, what do we, what do we feel? Turn off TTS. Those themselves are okay. Well, to turn off TTS, I'll have to manually change everything. So I'll just have them muted. So they'll pop up, but I can have them muted. Oh, hi, Gain. But off alerts for cutscenes is good. Thing is, I don't know when a cutscene happens, and I can't really go back and back and back and forth. It's okay, but TTS is a little odd. Okay. The sub aquatica voyage from Waldo. All right, I'll just keep them muted so they'll pop up, and then I'll just have to check them every so often. That's fine with me. One second chat. How are we feeling, by the way? Are we good to keep going? I'm kind of hungry. I kind of want a foodie. But I don't know what I want. I don't know what foodie I want. Or an almost Popeyes? Do you want me to shit my pants? Is this a good time? Is this a good time for me to order food? Order Indian food? Nah, we all know. We all know. We all know how that's gonna go. I'm gonna be on the toilet for 30 fucking minutes. Chat, what do I eat? Do I get Popeyes? Oh my god, I still have Miami open. <laughs> Shit. Let me go back to my home. Good time to breaky, yeah. To break a breaky. I have an, a new proposition for a new emote in Final Fantasy 14. What's the new emote? What's the new emote, Kayla? I leave Graha just staring in awe at Pepper. Hell yeah. Let me make this better for him. Here, do you like that view? Okay, never mind. I can't get on the I can't get on the fucking table. I'm so sorry. I tried to give you a better view, my boy. But here. Here. Actually, no. Can I make you stare at her tits? Is this the best I can do for boobs? Oh, wait. We're way too close. Here. That'll do. <sighs> if you order a couple spaghetti dishes and let us enjoy them vicariously, that's a para para marinara. Para 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 Oh my god. I can't even read that. Okay, chat. A and W? Wendy's, no, A&W or Burrito Boys? <laughs> Which one? Burritos do in fact rule, true. Love yourself!
Okay. Hi, Kenzo! Okay, I'm getting burrito boys. Do I get my usual? Do I get a spicy, 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 spicy ass quesadilla that's gonna make me shit my brains out? I'm gonna be strong and make sure I'm instead of door dashing. Yes, make your food. Don't be a Syrah. Don't be me, chat. Do not waste your money on food when you could just make it yourself. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm gonna move my little plushie because she's making weird pointy ears behind me. I'm gonna put her on this side. I move the Namazu. Let's put Mini Me over there. This was eight. I just wasted dollars. My, oh my god! I just wasted money on sushi tonight. I wish I liked sushi. I'm very picky. The California sushi rolls aren't bad. Like when it's just like the avocado and whatever. But like I, I'm not a seafood gal, so I'm very picky. Oh, you made tacos and you're not fucking sharing with us, Nissan. What the fuck? Uh, Bolet burritos? No. I actually haven't been to the St. Lawrence Market in a very long time. Okay. I'm gonna order some food, and I'm gonna take a pee-pee break. I will be right back. I'm very excited for my quesadilla. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll put up the screen instead. There we go. <laughs>
Okay, I think we're chillin'. We're good. We're good. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the welcome back. I appreciate it. I'm also just gonna quickly adjust this real quick. All right, now we're good. Now we're actually good. Um, audio okay? Everything okay? My mic, for whatever reason, it said I got reset. But I think we're okay. Oh my god, OBS is doing that thing where it's like lagging again. Like chat is frozen, everything is frozen. I'm gonna have to open Twitch. Like Twitch chat. Hey church, thank you, thank you, thank you, Rhea. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Saren, hey! Oh my god, I didn't even realize you were in here. Hello, Bean. How are you? It's nice to see you. Hello. Everything's bueno? Perfect. Perfect. Alright, let me pull out the chat real quick. Let me pull out the chat real quick. Alright, I've got chat here. There we go, babes. Alright, we're chilling now. We're good. We're good, babes. Righty. Wait, did I actually... Did my order process? Do you ever, like, place an order and you're like... Did I, though? Okay, I did. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Do you just do that fade to black? To show that time has passed, Peppa and Graha with her hair disheveled. Hey, look, Pepper and Graha Tia are never gonna fuck, okay? I feel like Pepper Pepper is not a top. Pepper is the bottom, and they're both bottoms. Like they need to get topped together. Do you know what I mean? Maybe like they'll have a threesome, but like also what is that ticking sound? Okay, we're chilling. It's not happening. The Great Ship Vilbrand. Okay, this looks intense because there's a picture. For the first in a long time, Merlweb's course is clear. Now, I need hardly tell you, but any attempt to negotiate with the tribes is doomed to fail is doomed to fail unless their minds can be first wrested from the grip of their gods. And so, in the meeting we seek to arrange with the kobolds, I would have you free their leader of Titan's influence. Leave it to us. We will open his ears to reason. Do I have to go fight Titan? Do I have to just wrangle somebody? You have my thanks. Here we proceed. There is something you should know. Some 50 years passed when the Sahagin swarmed at our halls in ever greater numbers. Limsa entered into a covenant with the kobolds. Hello? To men shall go the bounty of, of the sea. To kobolds shall go the bounty of the land. An ostensibly equitable arrangement, conspicuously lacking in detail. Aye, inadvertently or not, the wording was ambiguous, and we took advantage of it, moving in to claim the northern reaches of Lenosha, which the kobolds believed theirs. Bloodshed followed, then bloodshed to answer the bloodshed, and on and on it went, till every elm of Vilbrin bore the stain of our conflict. This is not history, you understand. It is the present, fresh and raw. And with our kindred's blood yet on our hands, we will struggle to regain the kobold's trust, even should we cure their tempered. Admiral, you speak of obstacles we are like to encounter at the meeting, but as things stand, I see no reason why the kobolds would agree to a meeting in the first place. And so we must provide a reason. I will restore their stolen crystals to them, and personally deliver the cargo along with my apologies. Bait. They would welcome us into their midst not to speak of peace, but to have you at their mercy. Aye. And given the- God, her fucking balloon titties! Holy shit! Look at her fucking bazonger bongies! My god! And given the- Sorry, I don't mean to, like, stare, but holy shit! It's right by the text bubble! I'm like- a Fucking a woogo, oh my god. And given the wealth of crystals we will bring, a wager they will attempt to summon Titan there and then. Meaning a high priest would need to be present, to whom we could administer the cure. Precisely. He is the fish I, sh I would catch, but he will not be alone. Nay, he will have guards on hand, and they will lay down their lives to protect him. Yet a single death on the kobold side would jeopardize our chance at peace, and their many venture founder founders. Ooh. Yet it need not. What if we were to employ the conqueror's chain? Though we would still have to weaken the kobolds, it would allow us to subdue them without inflicting lasting harm. The artifact Miss Mistbeard used to take good life to take goods and not life? Aye, that would serve. Well done, Marshal. So 
so friends, what think, what think you of our strategy? The effects of tempering are cumulative, and we may safely assume that the High Priest's exposure to primal influence is extensive. It will therefore take a great deal of ether to reverse its effects, not to mention time. Time during which Alize would be defenseless. Even should we all look to her protection, I am not convinced we could keep an entire army of kobolds at bay. Well, I'm happy to take that risk. It's not as if we have any other choice. That's my queen. That's my baby! Oh, but besides, it's what Tesleen would do. And had I not followed her example, we wouldn't have even have a cure for tempering, much less a chance to bring peace to Vilbrand. Oh. So I'm going to cure that priest or die trying. That's my girl! That's my fucking baby girl! I believe in you, Alize! And I believe in you too. You and everyone. I know you'll keep me safe. That's my girl! It is settled then. See to your preparations and make for Camp Overlook. We will see you. We'll join you there anon. Ba -na -na -na. The hunga bungas, the mommy milkers, not her cannonballs. Don't kill me. Her fucking cannonballs. I don't know what's going on with my game or like with my PC in general. Like. OBS is always freezing. The game takes forever to load now. Like, what is going on? Okay. Where are we going? Camp Overlook. Where are you? Over Pia. Perfect. <gasps> Hi, Jeff. How are you? Alize for present? Honestly. Hashtag let Alize say fuck. Let Alize fuck. Wait, no. I was trying to say, like, let Alize say. Like, let Alize say fuck. She's too young for that. We haven't had the talk about the birds and the bees. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, that's not happening yet. No, 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 no. She's still baby girl. Let her say fuck. Alfina wasn't lying when he said I'd be defenseless. So I'm counting on you all to give me the time I need. God, I read terribly. Do you hear this shit? And to think I'm a streamer? And a writer? Hi, Samosa Papi, hello! She is, baby. She has earned the right to say fuck. It's true. So young and already experiencing queer tragedy. Our sole purpose will be to keep you out of harm's way. So leave that to us and focus on your own task. Indeed. And should you want for ether, you need to only say the word. <gasps> Kaboo! Did you follow us here? My sweet baby boy! There's something important that I want to say to the High Priest. Express, state, say. Please let me come with you. Please. My baby. My baby boy. I'm sorry, but it's too dangerous. I need you to promise me that you'll stay here where it's safe, all right? Oh, he said no. He don't want to, Alice, eh? That's my baby. My baby sugar mama. My apologies for the wait. It took time, but we have secured our audience. All unfolded as expected. At the mention of my returning their crystals in person, the kobolds suddenly remembered how keen they were to be reconciled. And so, in the glorious spirit of cooperation, we are to be received by Patriarch Zada of the Second Order, who awaits... Who awaits our pleasure in the navel. God, I wish I had some pleasure in the navel. If you're ready, let's proceed to the Ugamoro... Ugamaro mines at once. But. Hello, succulent trash. I've never played Final Fantasy XIV in my life. I'm so confused. Yeah, it's. This game is a lot. There is a lot going on. And honestly, when I was like. So when I. Before I started playing this game and I ever like would, you know, like jump into like other people's streams to see what it's about right before I was gonna get invested, I was so fucking confused. There is so much happening, there is so much lore, it is kind of hard to digest if you haven't, like, been keeping up with it. But, however, you can try this game for free if you are interested in giving it a little, a little test run. And also, welcome to the stream, Succulent Trash. Hello, hello. Hi, Emmy! But I really wanted to go with you. A company, join, go with you. Oh my god, my Goomba Laboogie! 
My Goomba Laboogie! Oh my god. I don't know why, but he reminds me of Waldo. Just a baby. Just a big sad baby. Did you know? It is a very good free trial. You get to play up to level 60 with no limits, like no restrictions on uh, on the gameplay time. Um, and you get the first base game and the next X pack. And Heaven's Word fucking slaps. It is so good. It is so sexy. It ripped my heart out and ate it in front of me. I've never recovered. I'm still crying over it. Like, I am literally still sobbing over Heaven's Word. Ask chat. All I do is cry about it. And I will make it everyone's problem as well. Okay, am I supposed to be in here? Am I supposed to be in here? Oh, I fucking... I forgot how much I hated this place. Okay, so we're going this way. And then we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna go in here. And then we're gonna go down this way. And then we're gonna turn over here. And here we are. Oh, it's a duty, eh? This etherite will bear us to a quarry. Should he make to summon Titan, as I anticipate, we will halt the ceremony and restrain him. At this, all hells will break loose, and we will have an army of kobolds to entertain until Alize's work is done. Just remember, none must die. We weaken them, and let Einzar do the rest. It is time. Stay the course, my friends. I spy calmer wa waters beyond the squall. Alright, bet. Hold on. I want to talk to my stinkies first. Alize can be forgiven a certain amount of recklessness, but if she goes so far as to contemplate sacrificing herself, I'll remind her how she responded when I thought to do the same. <laughs> Grahatia, I am whole I'm fucking holding you to that. Look at me, little shit. If anything happens to my baby girl, I don't care how much I love you. I don't care how much I cried over you. I will bite your fucking ankles. It will be your fault. Patriarch Zada. The name sounds familiar. It is because he was the one who presided over the deaths of Kobo's parents. I can't hear that in the day for my place to fall upon deaf ears. But this day will be different. We will reach out together, all of us, and we will take peace in our grasp. Oh my god, Gobble gonna make an appearance. Gobble gonna say, he's gonna say, I know what you did to my family. You killed my mama and papa. There's nothing more to say. I'm going to do this. For Gabu and Tesleen and anyone who's ever dreamed of a better future. Ellie's say my baby girl, my sweet Babu. My sweet Coochie Boochie. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this duty. Let's get out the way then, yeah? It's Mary Peppermint? Who's Mary Pe I, This is just Peppermint, what are you saying? What are you talking about? This is just Pepper. God, kobolds are so cute. Look at their whiskers. I love them. I love that that's how we just spawn. Swip, swip, swip. Their bodies are still there? Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib, Blofisvin, so Admiral of Limsa Laminsa. Blow, blow visvin. Blow, blow, blow visvin. Blow vis. There. There's. There's a pronunciation for that? Blow. Blovisvin, 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 Merve, I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise, foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Mm -mm. Aye, just as we thought. <laughs> well, goddamn! Okay, Wonder Woman! 
Or Wonder Man? Now, Alize! Quickly! You don't need to tell me! <laughs> Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. Yes. Let's go. Enough with the flashbangs, please! Meow, meow. So I can't kill them. Okay. Who are we going to? Who am I? Can I? Can I? Can I protect Elise? Yeah. I, okay. I got a hello. Can I? No. What about? The girl seeks to harm the patriarch with vile, with vile magics. Kill her. Slaughter. Slay. Kill. What's up? I don't even- I don't know how- how well Grit works in these, like, duties, honestly. Draw the golems to me, size. I'll deal with them all at once? Oh, damn. Okay. Game German nesting. Oh, god damn, mommy! Okay! I see you! I guess I should have moved that over there, because they're targeting him. My sights. You are in my sights. Neat. All right, what's next? Time for the chain. He's got him whipped. Oh, yes, it's ready. Go, Angelo. Yes, Piggy. Do your thing. What sorcery is this? All right. We're at 75 now. So we got, what, three more waves? I can't finish the job. No, bestie! So one person ether alone is not enough. Come on, Graha. Do your thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, what, what is what is that? Why are they sitting in the middle of it? Should I sit in the middle of it too? What's going on? They're targeting Alize. Everyone gathered close. All right. Hello, I've gathered. Wait, no thank you. Is she gonna be okay? Oh, he's, he's got her lassoed? Is that like his ether? Is he feeding her ether? It's yellow, isn't it supposed to be like blue? I don't know what he's doing. In my oh, he size. is giving her ether. That's exactly what it is, right? Yeah. He's keeping her up. He's keeping my baby safe. I'm like paranoid. I'm so paranoid. This entire fucking... Okay, now he's now now they're gonna give her e their ether. Is that now you is that what's happening? Zen. Yeah. Okay. There we go. See, it's blue. Okay, that checks. Like, ever since Shadowbringer started, I have been so paranoid about Alize. I'm so scared this thing's gonna happen to my baby girl. And like this, like nah, this is too close for comfort. I'm nearing my limit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Spread out and hold them off? I bet. Okay, wait. Did I get the little no, guys? I okay, need I more guess. Can I not give you any of my juice? I have some juice too. Do I not? Is my juice not enough? No one wants my juice. I got you, babes. I got you. Wait, god darn minute. Wait, they're too strong. Wait, I can't. Wait, this is not working. Wait, this is not working. Wait, it's not working. This to me, staying clear. All of you. Oh, god damn. Oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna. Oh, oh my god. He left them all explode, but is he okay? Oh no. Are you the sacrifice? Of all the reckless things, Ellie's eight now's your chance. Go, bestie. Okay, okay, okay. Is the piggy ready? Oh, damn! She knocked him down by fifty. Almost there, Pepper. Please let me. Yes, I caught you. I'll give you my ether. I don't know how. 
Do I just do I just channel Ether to Alize? I got you, baby! I got you! Take my juice! Take my juice! Take the pussy juice! Oh god damn, those those Oh, those debuffs are bad. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. You're dead now? Oh, uh, no, she's not! <gasps> Merle Whip? Merle Whip? Mother? Mother? I made medicine before I came. Mother? No matter what it co- No matter what it costs me, Limsa will have peace. Ooh! Uh-uh! Nah, 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 Miss Ma'am's got one HP left. She ain't down today. Nah. Nah, I'm not letting this happen. Look, I got my bestie with me. Oh, wrong ability. The Baldo. Hey, yo, where'd you go? You doing a little flippy flip? You doing a little, you doing a little dance? You doing a little dance? Oh, I don't have my lunge yet. Fuck. It's on cooldown because I wasted it. Out of rage. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'll hold on to it. Hobo drill? That's not the drill I want tonight. Hello? Ooh, mm, my bad. Ooh. Ooh, my bad, my bad indeed, my bad indeed, my bad indeed. Come here, bitch. Come on. Okay. He's dead. I got him. Or he's low. Pepper, a little more ether, just a little more. I got you, where are you? Where are you? There you are. I got you. I got you, my baby. I got you, my baby. I got you, I got you, I got you! Thank you. It will work this time, I promise. I believe in you. I never doubted you for a second, Alize. Oh my god. Yes, this will do. Here I go. Come on, piggy. Go, Angela. Why? Why? <laughs> Did it work? I think. <gasps> what? Oh my god, I did. What? You what? I'm sorry, but they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. No, 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 no! Oh, that effect is so good. Such a thing. Oh, I feel so bad. Would that there were a cure for the victims of the tempered. Is it, is it, oh, is it Gabu? It's Gabu, it's Gabu. Oh my god, it's my baby. Gabu! What are you doing here? I knew he'd come. I knew he'd come. Oh my god, he's so small! Patriarch, please listen to me. Hear, heed, listen. The 
The great father we have been summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. My sweet boy. What... what have I done? We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. Oh, chat, I'm so sad. This is so sad. This fucking game, man. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory, pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said oh, hey, that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it God, cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted. The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact. Violated, breached, broke. Unready as we were, what choice had we but to call upon the divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? And that's on trauma. None. And I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt. And any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. I like mommy. No, we won't be fooled. He Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Laminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Damn, she's really sweet. Whatever you them desire, up. the navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen, just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. She's gonna toss her gun? If you'll only accept our hand in friendship. The Annihilator or whatever? She's gonna give it up? 
We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before, and you betrayed us. Fooled, deceived, betrayed us. There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. Aww. They were always kind to me. Aww. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Gonna do it, just gonna give it up, right? Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it. However much I might want to. There we go. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. That's a sick name. It's loaded. Death penalty? If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. Oh my god. That is so noble. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. It's not gonna happen. I know it's not gonna happen. Do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrun home. There's no home. way. They're not gonna kill her off. They can't kill off Merle. But I said the same thing about Orshifon. Look what happened. Hm. Don't look. There's no shot. Plot twist is not loaded? No. Oh my god. Himself? Plot twist? Oh. The sky. Oh my god. Oh my god. I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. <laughs> And I will trust him. Yeah, trust the little boy. <laughs> Love this for them. I love the little details of like. We want you to know um, that we respect your Alize holding her There's ground better than Alfino, you know, even though Al even though Alize is the spicier you. one. Love. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. This may quarrel. Many and more of my brethren are yet enthralled to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. I love that they do that. <laughs> like they just start blurting out like synonyms. <laughs> T 
Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. That, that, I like that. You know, I'm, I'm not a fan of Limsa Lamensa. I've said it before. Um, I didn't think this little, like, patch would be, I guess, like, enjoyable because most of it I have to voice myself. But I, I like where it's headed. I, I like, I like this little, this moment of, you know, bringing... Uh, unity to Lenosha and I guess like having that further spread across Eorzea but that makes me really scared for what's to come in Endwalker <laughs> that makes me very scared if I ever get a rat I'm calling him Gabu <laughs> iconic Dentist? And with no, uh, no alert. Do I even have an alert for that? Oh, it's just not. <laughs> it's just not okay for me to do that. Dentist! Uh, yeah, who got dodged? Who, who, who dodged? Oh my god, dentist! Thank you. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted subs! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Holy shit, you're huge, dude. You're fucking huge. I appreciate that so much. It was so much my app force closed. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Thank you, dentist, to everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. Miss that bullet? Damn. Damn. Looks like some people need to, uh, need to get, uh, gifted. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> When's your food coming? It actually should be here really soon. So this is a really good, uh, break point. Nope. My delivery is still delayed. I think homeboy is just eating my food. Honestly. It said 12.05, and then it said 12.10, and now it's saying 12.20. Firebird! Thank you for gifting a sub to the game she plays. Welcome to the coven. Open your badge, your emotes, and your stay. Or I guess welcome back is what I should say. I can't believe Nissan dodged for shame. The audacity. Get sniped! Get sniped. Man. Um, hold on. I read something up here that I wanted to reply to. This patch came around the time the game does really took a, lo a look at the issues with the tribe narrative as a whole with the dropping of the beast part. Okay, it's really funny that you say that because I was actually thinking that watching this, um, I didn't want to say anything yet and then I saw your comments, so, like, thank you. But it did make me think because, you know... I was remembering how a lot of people were saying that, like, the beast men, like, it's racist, um, calling the, those, like, the beast tribes and stuff, and, like, they, you know, they are very, they worship these gods that we are trying to, like, rid them of and, and whatnot, and how that's very, like, like, kind of rude and, like, cl like, colonialism a little bit and stuff like that. And I was thinking, like, it's kind of nice to see that they're dropping that um, and trying to fix that or undo that narrative plot point. Um, I don't know how accurate that is, but it is it is nice to see, to say the least. The Orzeans were racist. Oh, I'm not saying they're not. I'm not saying they're not. I'm 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 more so talking about the writers as opposed to the game itself. Does that make sense? Cause like here's my here's my thing. Okay, I think racism can can exist in games, but 
it depends on how it's done. Does that make sense? I think it is okay for games to echo real world issues. That's a thing. But how they go about it and how they treat these sensitive subjects is what is is what's more telling of the company and the writers um, than anything. You know? But I know I know that's that's something that not everyone agrees with, and I think that's fine. But, you know, I, I personally, when I come across characters that have encountered similar real-world issues that I've gone through, I find myself to be more... I'm more, like, receptive of them. And I feel for them more. I feel for those characters more. Whether it's like something that's like more superficial or something that is, I guess, like quote unquote political, you know, there is a way to do it. And there's a wrong way to do it as well. It was a tired trope? Yeah, completely. I had to hold my nose to the Vanu Vanu tribe quest. I haven't done those yet. I actually haven't really done any of the tribe quests because I just didn't feel comfy with some of them. Like, the way that the game, um, I, I, I will say previously, I don't know if it actually does improve, but I will just say previously for the sake of this conversation. But actually, no, I'm not even going to say that. The way that this game handles, um, the beast tribes, the beastmen, basically anyone that isn't a humanoid has always kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and it's like... I don't know. It's just weird. I have a problem mostly with, final, with fantasy racism when they do their world building, world building to accidentally make the racist in universe factually correct. Like how in some DD world building they make orcs just people, but have them be magically angry and evil, like as in universe fact. That's a really good point. That's a very, very good point, Firebird. I think they're in the process of getting better. That's good. It's really nice to see um, also like devs be receptive to feedback um, because I think I think it's I think like, you know, devs and like I think I think they're it, you know, I'm going to word this really, really poorly. So please forgive me. But I think it's only like normal for, you know, devs and and writers and creators to like make errors but how they go about it like i was saying before like even like with like their writing is what is telling of someone's character right i like i feel like some people or like i've seen some devs where like some games will come out and it's like you know behind like it would have slapped at a certain era in time but it came out too late and it no longer works. And so they have to rewrite that. And that's fine. If you need to take those steps to change your game or to update the narrative as the story progresses, like if it's like an online game like this, go for it. Like, good on you, you know? Like, make those fucking changes. The world is changing rapidly. What was okay a few days ago might not be okay a few days later. And if you didn't know that, that's fine. But take it with grace and change it. And make make the changes. But don't, don't double down. Which I've been seeing a lot happening on the interwebs lately. And yes, we are now at 303 over 300. So I can change that now. Let's change it to 350. We'll have it go up by 50. What well, do you think how, th how different 2023 is from 2013, right? So much has changed. Even like 2020 to now, in literally three years, so much has fucking changed. Hello, Devin. Yeah, I remember... Um... <gasps> is that a djinn? Is that a Captain Eorzea? Is that the one, the only, the Captain Eorzea? Um, I remember when... Fuck. When they released that new race in D&D. &D. 
Y'all know what I'm talking about? It's a Captain America cosplay. Uh, it's Captain. Oh, I got the ear wiggles. It's Captain Eorzea. Thank you very much. I thought he just like blue and red. <laughs> well, he does like blue. I'm going to bed, but glad I could join stream for the first time. Me too, succulent. Have a good night. I hope to see you again tomorrow night. Take care. In the space book, yes. In the space book, yes. You <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Ooh! I just choked. Hold on. I got an Uber update, but I don't see it. It's gone now. Where's my Uber Eats update? Sorry to keep you waiting. We do our best to take traffic, weather, and busy times into account. Oh, sick. I got a $5 Uber cash thingy. Hell yeah. We love to see it. Hey, Grits! My night is going okay. How was yours? I saw that you had a date. What's the tea on that? Hi, Alex! Hello! Oh, let's see what you said. Hold on. Let me scroll up and, and then scroll down. The really ill thought out ape humanoid race? Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Eternal. Wait, where is he going? Okay. By no means is the team perfect, and the team absolutely will continue to make mistakes going forward, which is in another area. The general locked Yes, the general locked uh, outfits. But with this patch, I felt like the team not only recognized the issues in their game's narrative, they recognized that it was better to tackle the issues head on. I'd rather the devs acknowledge the problems and show a desire to improve them rather than sweep them under the rug. Yeah! I agree. I absolutely agree with you, Alex. 100%. I, I think it shows a lot of spine and, you know, <laughs> stability and trust um, when they do that. I think there is nothing... I, will, uh, I think there's nothing that fandoms hate more than lack of transparency. Um, and obviously there's only so much... There's only so much that teams can provide um, to the to the public, but you know, can, can we help you? Can we help you, Jen? Are you good? <laughs> a date? Yes, apparently. You'll ever just spend 107 on drinks on Thursday night? Yes, I've done that too many times. Can I help you? Are you missing something? What's wrong? <laughs> he's, get, he's getting a little rest. He's getting a little antsy. <laughs> I am too. I want my quesadilla. Okay, is it because I'm short? You can't find me? Okay. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Where is little Pepper? Oh, she's so small. Oh, look! You spotted me! Wow! <laughs> you found me. You found me. <gasps> <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> I think your should be really understand the transparency thing. The whole deal with the live letter from the producers they do is to try to keep people updated on the game changes and decision making process they have, and I think that's really cool. See, I I I want to agree. I don't know too much about him. I don't really uh read like dev um like updates and stuff, dev blogs. Um, but there is, I do have a really big issue with the way that Final Fantasy 16 is being handled, um, in terms of their whole, oh, well, this is Fantasy Europe, and Fantasy Europe only consists of white people, so there are no POC in this game, despite having, uh, what is it, they're revisiting, like, Rabinastra or whatever, like, there's this other area that they're going to in the game that has, that is, like, Middle Eastern and North African, like, in MENA, I guess, inspired, but they're only gonna be white people. Like, that doesn't make sense, bro. Like, POC existed in medieval Europe. Just say you only want white people in your game. It's, uh, not good. So, I wish I could agree with you. I completely wish I could agree with you. Um... I'm sure for Final Fantasy XIV that's not the case, but for but like I I don't know. Sorry, but POC were invented in the 1980s. What do you mean you're right? My bad. So sorry. 
I think there are POC in that region, though. He's just wording it badly in such poorly translated or something. That doesn't change that the main cast is all white and Japanese, though. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, we can't say anything until someone plays the game fully and can vouch. I don't know. Yoshipi said the same thing about 14, did he? <gasps> well, that's ironic, isn't it? Oh, hi, baby! Oh, look who just woke up! Hi, Avalon! Look who just woke up! Hi, honey! Good morning! Come here! Look what I got. I got nothing in my hand, but do you want it? Look who just... Oh, good morning, Baba! Good morning, my angel! Hi, Baba! Good morning, baby kid! Yeah, good nappy. Yeah, you slept okay. Look, your breath doesn't stink now because mommy cleaned it. Yeah. His, his fur is all like drooly right now. What do you want to shake? You shake. I know I interrupted your shake because I was petting you. Oh. Oh, there's a shake. There's a shake. No, no big baby. No big baby. Hey, mama. You sniff in the box? Yeah. That's a that's an iron bull statue, huh? Box that later. I have so many, so many things to unbox. I have two gifts from Bioware to unbox. They sent me a Blackwall statue and a Caden statue, I believe. And I have my, my Iron Bull statue from Dark Horse just came in. And I have my Moogle lamp to unbox. I'm gonna... <laughs> so, so I'm gonna unbox those later. Volo snuggles must be so nice. He's so big and floofy. They are when he lets me snuggle him. Iron Bull statue that looks so good. I know. Well, it's Dark Horse. Of course it's going to be good. God damn. Like, is Homeboy eating my, my quesadilla? Like, what is going on here? I'm hungry! He lets me snuggle him. He just loves me more. Well, don't we all? Ooh. Well, though, best boy. Me best stinky boy. I'm hungry! I'm so hungry! It's not fair. It's just not fair. It's not fair. I'm gonna make hash in the morning. Oh my god. And drizzle leftover queso on it. Kelsey, please feed me. What are you giving me? You give me food because I'm hungry. Is that a quiche? Mutton stew? Thank you. I will take the mutton stew. Mm. Thank you. Wow. I feel so much better now. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> oh my god. For the ear wiggles. Okay, let's talk to to Merle Web. It would seem we have found a way forward with the kobolds. Next, we will help the Second Order to free their tempered brethren from thraldom. Theirs is far from the only order, of course, and it will take no small amount of time and effort to reach the rest. But reach them we will, however long it takes. I would say that I was in your debt, but that has been that has long been true. So instead, I will say thank you for helping us to plot a new course not only for Limsa Limsa, but all of Eorzea. I just checked and you're right. Oh! What, you stole it getting whiter? Yeah. Let me see. Don't get me started about how they put your stole on the skin lighteners to market her once 14 got real popular. Yeah. 
I, um, yeah, she got whiter and they, they whiten Thancred. Because he got dark in, in Heavensward or Stormblood. I think it was Heavensward. End of Heavensward. And they were like, yeah, well, he got a tan. And then he lost his tan. Ishtola is a brown girl and Thankard is a brown boy. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, you can canonize whatever you want, honestly. Do whatever. But Ishtola is my brown girl. <laughs> Did I get an update? Did he message me? I want my case. Oh. Oh, there's Oh, there's been movement. There's been movement. I might be getting my quesadillas, finally. <sighs> Prayers that the food is still warm. I will honestly be so livid. I will be so pissed. My fave fan artist would tell you about making you still a browner every time Square Enix makes her lighter, as they fucking should. As they fucking should. Alright, let's do a good little Elfino. Future's rewritten. Elfino's face is a picture. Equal parts jubilation and relief. Right. Let's return to the Rising Stones. I'm so glad this is voice acted now. <laughs> Admiral, something strange is afoot at the floating city. Oh, no. Breathe, man. What is it? I think it's best you see for yourself. Please. I come hate with it me. when they do that shit. I hate it when they say, oh, just come see for yourself. Like, nah, tell me the tea. I want the tea up front. Oh, do they summon something? What's going what on? What in the world is that? Okay, maybe not. No. A tower. I've, you know, I've, I've been on the Bad Dragon website too, before. I feared I was losing my wits. One moment I was patrolling as usual, and the next it was just there. Meow, meow, meow. Yes? This is she. I am. I. I'm looking at it. What is that, though? It's like purple. What? Understood. Send the Elder Seed Seer my regards. What's going on? What's going on? Is it assy and shit? Probably. Probably the communications the officer. Class. It seems this isn't the only tower. They've sprung up all across Eorzea. Oh, fuck. Nothing more is known. Only that they appear to be of Garlean construction. That is a cock. Our allies ah! on the Alamegan front are on highest alert. Garlean? Garlean nonsense? Oh! Forgive my Wi -Fi. but would you join them? They may well need the help. They got some pretty good signal over here. Of course, Admiral. We Sorry, shall I'm make like all out haste. of frame. <laughs> they got that My 5G. <laughs> I will return to Limsa to weigh our response. Hey, puppy. Look for Commander Hext when you arrive in Alamigo. And may the navigator speed you on your way. Yeah, puppy. I know. Okay, chat. I am going to. Da -na -na -na. I 
I'm gonna be right back. I need to take Waldo out to poo poo pee pee. So I will leave y'all here for a little bit. Um, it'll only be like 10 minutes, more or less. I'll see y'all in just a second because this little boogie boogie woogie boogie boogie said, Mama, I just woke up and I got poo poo pee pee. You got poo poo pee pee? You gotta tell the class you got poo poo pee pee? Yeah? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh he angry, oh he angry, he fighting mama, he can mama I gotta go, he can mama I gotta go. Okay, I'll be right back.
I'm back, but I have to self really quick. Hello. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything important? Are we talking about iPods? God, I wish I still had my iPod Nano and stuff. I have no clue where those are. Hello, Elise. It's a me. Didn't you be uh, playing Destiny? Oh my god, I think tomorrow I'm gonna wash my hair. It's like so gross. And I have a baby behind me now. Look at him. He just ate his treat and now he's chilling. Can't hear? Oh yeah, sorry, my mic was all the way over there. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, that's on me. So I have no fucking clue where my food is. It's been an hour. And. Homeboy isn't messaging me back. Nothing is happening. So. I will deal with it later. Oh. Hello, Grits. Grits, are you my quesadilla? Sounds like they're gonna refund your meal. They better. Those cucks better. I was looking forward to it. So unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm gonna be eating cookies and then I'll actually make food when I hop off. Wait a second. 313? Did dentist gift more subs? Dentist, I, I think he went to bed. But dentist, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. To everybody I got gifted a sub today, welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your remotes, and your stay. What the fuck? Ayo, hey, y'all got some motherfucking competition. Y'all think you're a sire simp? Nah. Nah, y'all gotta do better. Let me come over and cook for you, please. Now I regret, like, telling my mom not to bring me, like, extra, um, extra chana curry. Incredible that one, indeed. I don't know what happened. My quesadilla? I don't know. I honestly don't know what happened. I just know that I'm sad. The latest arrival time was 12.15 a.m. Bitch! Hi, Sad. Nice to meet you. Banned. Banned. Okay. Let's get this bread. I know. I just wanted my cheese. I just wanted my cheese, man. Okay. So now we gotta go speak with Lise? God, fuck. Alright. Let's see what this bitch has to say. So, we don't know what those are, but they popped up all around Eorzea, right? For those that don't know. For those that don't know, I am not Lise's biggest fan. I don't like Lise. She grew on me, but I'm she I'm not her biggest fan. 
she is so poorly written. And like I said before, I cannot get over the fact that she went to that poor fucking settlement and tried to get these like poor, poor survivors to fight the Empire with us. Where like their families were just kidnapped, raped, murdered, they're slaves. They're struggling to survive, and she expected them to drop everything and go fight the Empire? Like, nah. I- like, I can't. I can't with least Fucking privileged ass. Whatever. I mean, she's better now. I- I like her a lot more now, but... My god. I hate Lise. Welcome to the club. Uh, sa is it pronounced Satisfaf? Satisfaf? Thank you so much for three months resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. No. Lise is mighty annoying. I, I, I do understand where they were going with her character. Like, young, naive woman, this, that, and the other. But it was so poorly done. Like, they could have done so much better. Remember when she pretended to be her sister? I could just couldn't get over that. Neither could I, honestly. I don't think about it enough. But when I do, I get angry. Wannabe ass bitch. <laughs> I like Luz personally, but I recognize that she's not everyone's favorite. And also that a lot of people have good reasons for it. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's completely valid. There's nothing that makes me more frustrated than when people can't just agree to disagree on certain things. Um, I've seen a and I think what makes me dislike Lise even more is that, like, I've seen people use this as an argument where they'll say... Oh, but if, if Lise was a man, you'd like her. Oh, well, because Lisa is blonde. Because Lise is blonde with blue eyes and she's a girl, people don't like her. It's like... If that were the case, why did I love Reen? Why did I love Minifilia? Like, yeah, Minifilia was a little bit useless, but like... Do you know what I mean? Bullshit fucking, like, argument. And if that's the type of people defending Lise... I think we should fight. We shouldn't be getting along. Yeah, that's what you and I do. You're not my friend. I think we should all just start brawling. Let's fucking go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I'm eating the Peak Freen's Family Digestive Biscuits. These are my favorite. I roast her even harder if she's a white man. Same. Oh, I love Maria Cookies. Maria Cookies, bang. People don't like Lise because she was really naive and annoying. I guess I get her because she was that, and it seems like a really annoying type of person that we can relate to. Um, yeah. I mean, Alfie knows young and annoying. Alize is young and annoying. There are a lot of young and annoying characters in this game that, like have different arcs that are more appealing you know i wouldn't say people don't like her because she's annoying it's not just that there are so many characters in this game that are annoying but they're endearing you know or they have some other like redeemable quality but personally from the beginning to the end of stormblood lise wasn't just annoying but she was like a nuisance she was a nuisance she was tone deaf and the only time I saw actual, I personally saw growth for Lise was in post Stormblood. It took not even just like a patch, but it took all the way to the post patch content for me to like find any sort of appeal to her as a character. I think she got a different writer and post them. That would make a ton of sense, Jay, if that's true. That would make so much sense because I did like her. Like, literally, my dis my dislike for Elise for Elise. My dislike for Elise was so fucking strong that y'all clipped me smiling at her, and that clip has like, I don't even know how many fucking views. She said something and I smiled for half a second. 
and that was it. Like, <laughs> that's okay, Eternal. You can have your moment. If you like Lise, you like Lise. That's fine. Stormblood had two different main writers? Okay, that checks out too. That explains some inconsistencies. It was you who clipped it, Adrian? Iconic. Mmm. Hold on. Hold on, I think you're spitting. Let me see what you fucking said. It was her ignorance into being the face of darks and peoples was Yes! Don't even don't get me started. Don't get me started. Do not, do not get me, do not get me started. Do not get, do not. I know I saw someone in chat earlier saying that they saw artwork of Lise being um, darker skinned to match Alamigo. And honestly, I wish Lise was a, you know what? I feel like Lise's narrative would have been much better if she was, a person of color. I feel like I would relate to her naivety and what have you if she was POC. But because she's not and she's talking down to all of these darker skinned people. The mod sending is not letting me post any messages at all? Oh, what's happening? Wait, what's going on? Oh, wait. Um, is it, are they because of emotes you're using or something? That could be it. You can send a mod, you can send a mod a message and try to get it posted. I like your Eevee plush, thank you. Thank you, that's my baby. Sorry, one second. She's not even a Highlander. I think if she'd have been a Highlander, it would have been a teeny tiny step less bad, probably. One of Lisa's issues is that the female Highlander model wasn't in the game when they created Lisa slash Ida. She's technically a middle. It's the same with Minfilia. They're both technically Highlanders with midlander bodies because of 1.0's bullshit tech debt. Ooh, interesting. I'm getting the lore. Oh, we're talking about white savior Elise. You've killed me. You've killed me. You've ended me. That's it. <gasps> Feral fam raid, hello. Courtney, thank you so much for the raid. Hello friends, I am Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy 14 streamer. We are just wrapping up 5.4 of Shadowbringers. I'm very excited. I hope you had a great stream. Hello, welcome everybody. Get comfy, get cozy. We're about to dive back in. She was a lot more likable in Far East Half when she was just being an NPC in Hand Story. I agree. I agree completely. I agree 100%. I think like... I think like navigating Alamigo was annoying to begin with. And then when you add Lise as the main character for that plot point, girl. Mm, I'm good. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I'm good. Stream is doing well. We're having fun. It's taking a lot longer for me to get through this um this part than I thought. That's very interesting about the models, but honestly, that makes sense because some NPCs will have like a distinct, like their own, you know, build. 
And for that, they would have to, like, you know, use other other race bodies and whatnot. So that honestly makes a lot of sense. Um, it's interesting, to say the least. I've seen you around J3's chat. I'm so sorry. But I know very little of Final Fantasy anything. What's going on here? All right. How do we TLDR this as quickly as possible? So Final Fantasy XIV... Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm trying to wrap this in my head. I have an idea of which kind. I don't know the context of this conversation, Avalon. So please jump in if you need to. Um. Oh, you deleted the message. But I'll fucking read it out anyways. Uh, I have an idea of which kind. But I gotta see if it's 7-Eleven Brown or the other one. What makes you think that's okay to say? What makes you think that's okay to say? Or the other one? What's the other one? What's the other one? Let's talk about it. No, let's fucking talk about it. I'm on the break of a fucking manic episode. Let's talk about it. Let's go. What's the other one? Can I fill in the blanks? I could be completely wrong. You could be completely innocent. But let me fill it in. Let me fill it in. Oh, what kind of brown I am? Oh, so am I 7-Eleven or 9-Eleven? I'm both, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Nah. Proudly to. Get the fuck out of here. Nah. Fuck you, dude. Who fucking says that shit? In 2023, no less? I am proudly Middle Eastern. I am proudly Indian. And I am proudly Guyanese. Get the fuck out of here. Miss me with that shit. With fucking Ang in your name? Aren't you a POC too? Hello? Nah. What the fuck is going on today? Where are all of these people coming from? I'm so sorry for interrupting the, the Final Fantasy discussion. But like... Girl, 2023 just started and it's already going downhill. Like, it took me a second. I was like, or the other one? What could he possibly mean by the other one? Oh, ha ha ha, 9 11. God. I. It's moments like this that make me really fucking mad. Because, like, it feels like no one. I was saying it could be indigenous peeps. Even that's just as bad. That is also just as bad. Like that doesn't make it any better. Like what kind of Indian are you? Se like, ugh. Sometimes like being brown sucks, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna fucking tell you why. Because no one ever talks about the racism that brown people fucking still go through to this day. No one talks about how every time I go to the airport and people see my fucking last name, I get pulled aside. I went on a fucking vacation with my friend, white ass fucking bitch, looked like my fucking walls, and I got pulled aside. And they, they did the whole shebang, and then she was like, wow, that's never happened to me before. Did you have something on you? You dumb fucking bitch. You dumb bitch. I wish I had the ignorance that some white people had. I wish I lived in a world where people were so ignorant to the racism that brown people still face. Because no one fucking talks about it anymore. And when people do talk about it, it gets drowned out by every other fucking thing. And it is so, so, so infuriating. I hate it. I'm... I'm getting angry, and I can tell not because my face is red, but because my boobs are red. And it's not even because of the lighting here. Oh my god. I hate it. 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 You all fucking talk shit about 7-Eleven, but aren't y'all always going to 7-Eleven for your little snackies? For your lighters and shit? You're keeping us in business. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. 
Appreciate it. You look good, regardless. Thank you. Thank you, Skiller. I appreciate that. Uh Aha! Uh -huh! 7 Eleven Slurpees! Bang, bro! When I'm drunk as fuck, I'm gonna mosey over to that 7 Eleven and get myself a little Slurpee, go home, and cry, to, cry myself to sleep. <laughs> nah, I hate it. I hate it. I'm so sorry. Look, if you see someone coming into my chat and they're being racist, smoke them. Fuck them up. Get them good. Smack them around. I give you permission. I don't know what I came into, but I know this is very fast. Thank you. <laughs> Can I ask what is 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven is a convenience store. Um, uh, think of it as like a con like a corner shop. Like it's got like it's got food. It's got medicine. Like you know, like it's a convenience store. Um, and it is heavily associated, and this is racist, it is heavily associated with, um, with South Asian and Middle Eastern people because m a lot of Indians, um, run it, quote unquote, work there, so. Yeah. And so for someone to be like, oh, what kind of brown are you? The 7-Eleven kind? That is so racist. You could just say, are you South Asian? There are so many... Like, there's so many different things. Also, hold on! No, I mean, I guess that is me because it does say Indian in my tags. It's Indian and Guyanese, so I can see the confusion. But, nah! It's right fucking there! I gotta be more specific. No! I was gonna say, I gotta be more specific for these whiteies, but honestly, I don't gotta. No, that's on them. If they don't know how to communicate with minorities, that's on them. That's not a me problem. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. How did you make it this far in life saying shit like that? No one's clocked you before? So, anyways, like I was saying, <laughs> what is it, Skriller? A uh, Skriller plays? Is that your, was that your username? Final Fantasy is a, I, I can't really speak for the other games, I haven't played them, but it is a massive fantasy RPG um, universe. It's got a little bit of high fantasy. It's got a little bit of steampunk. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Um, I am currently playing Final Fantasy XIV, uh, which is the online MMO in the in the series. There's another one that's Final Fantasy XI, but I think it flopped. I don't know the T there. Um, but yeah, I am in the and I'm in the third expansion. We just finished it, so we're doing the post content, which is the stuff that's in between this X pack and the very last one. So I'm almost done the game. Well, I'm almost caught up with the game, rather. So there's a lot of tea that you have definitely missed out on, but I'm sure, not me, because I'm really bad at this, but I'm sure someone in chat can help you get caught up to speed. I just need to know how much I adore you, Jeff. I love you so much. That means so much to me coming from you. You're not obligated to be polite to people when they start off that bad, you know? I know. But see, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And I'm sure some of y'all can relate. And it's very bad. And it's very sad. I always feel like I have to knuckle under when I'm talking to cishet people, straight people, or white people. Because we are always going to be painted as the villain. Oh, a white person was acting up and I got mad? I'm the problem. You know? So, there's always that part of me... There's always that part of me that wants to knuckle under. But I try my best to just snap out of it. Like, nah. Like, if I'm able to catch myself, it's like, no! Fuck you! Like, I am not going to be nice to somebody who is racist in 2023. You're telling me you weren't on the internet all of uh, all of quarantine? You missed all the shit that happened during that? Nah, I'm good. I am good. Also, Final Fantasy XIV, hello, how are you? <laughs> I love that that's your username. What is your MBTI? Oh, what is my MBTI? It changed recently because I, I redid the test. Oh, I don't remember. ENF, ENF, ENFP, or INFP, or something like that. God, now you're gonna make me want. Should I do the test real quick? 
I fucking hate that you are expected to go high when they go low, right? I'm a punch Nazis for now. Same. Same, bestie. Oh, that's adorable. What do you mean by that? Yours is dumb? You're right, though. You're right. It's D U M. Dumb! Cut out, baby! Um. Fuck it, let's do this. Fuck it, we ball. Hello? Monitor? <laughs> Is it not gonna load? Hello? My stream- Oh my god! There it is! Okay. Is it not loading? Hello? Cool. There we go. Let's do this. I love the stopping point? Yeah! I'm avoiding talking to Lise! Are we surprised? No. Okay. Uh, you regularly make new friends. Uh, actually, yes, I make new friends all the time. I used to not, but now? Actually, I'm gonna put it to agree. I make new friends all the time. Weeball. Uh, you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Um, to a degree, I'm kind of... I, I, I actually don't. I don't. I don't like thinking. I'm not a thinker. Um, seeing other people cry can easily- Yes. Oh, absolutely. You often make a backup- of oh, I should be reading these properly. I'm like speed Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. Yes. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan? Absolutely. I have OCD and anxiety. Usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. <laughs> a social events. Actually, I am getting a lot better than that. I have to give myself a little bit of credit. I'm doing way better. Um, so instead of strongly disagree, just disagree. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Um, kind of agree. I like, actually, no, disagree. I tend to try to mingle with a lot of new people, but like in small doses, and I'll usually like drag a friend with me to like soften the blow. You prefer to completely finish one product? Uh, fuck no. Uh, you were very sentimental? No. Kinda? To a degree? I don't like hold on to things. I don't care to. Um, you like to use organizing tools like schedules unless I like to, but do I actually use them? No. Even a small thing can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge? Absolutely. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking a conversation? Yeah, pretty much. You are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and an analysis. Oh my god. Analysis of creative works. Um I am very interested, it's just I'm very dumb and I'm not really good at articulating how I feel, so I'm gonna lower that because I'm not good at it, so I try to avoid that as much as I can. You're more inclined to follow your head than your heart. Um, not true, I wish I followed my head more because I make terrible decisions um, when I listen to my heart. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular day routine. Uh, agree to an extent. You really worry about whether you make a good impression. Oh, I always worry. You enjoy participating in group activities. Uh, d uh, disagree. I don't really like people. You like books and movies that make you come up with your, but make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending. Absolutely. I love that shit. It makes me spiral and I love reading everybody else's interpretation. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Um, disagree. I love helping people, but I care more. I'm very selfish. I need to know that I'm succeeding before I worry about anybody else. Actually, now that I think about it, I do put a lot of people before me. So I guess in a way, I'm going to bump that up. I'm selfish. But I care about people, you, to a degree. You are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. No, not really. You are prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. Always. You avoid leadership roles in group settings. Always. Actually, no. I have OCD, so I like to project my my advice into the person who is the leadership person thingy. What I think you are, you think I am what? Not just, but in what people say to you and remember about. Oh, regarding sentimental. Hey, wait, you may have called me out. Can I go back? It's too late, it's gone. <laughs> You're definitely not an artistic type of person. Ah, I write, I'm not as artistic as I used to be. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feeling? Um. I, 
Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like those should go hand in hand. Because, like, sometimes you have to put your feelings aside for the greater good. Yeah, you can't really... Yeah. I, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the middle. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax? No, I'm lazy. My, it kills my OCD, but I, my routine is very important to me, but I am also depressed, so... Actually, I do prefer. I should change that because I prefer... Whatever. Enjoy watching people argue? Oh my god, yes. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself? No, have you seen the way I dress? You move very quickly? Uh -huh. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you? Absolutely. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment? Usually. You have always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens out of death? Yes, because I, okay, chat. I'm gonna say something and, and, I, and I want you, I want you to, I feel like I have to make a TikTok about this, but I want you to just hear me out for a second. Do you ever have a panic attack because you realize you're self-aware? Every so often I'm like, oh my god, I'm me and, and I'm listening to myself think and I'm talking and I'm seeing other people and they have no idea what I'm thinking of. And I, and like, I am me. Like, you don't get it. Like, you don't fucking understand because I'm me right now. I am me and you're not, you're not me. But, like, I'm seeing everything and you're not seeing what I'm seeing and, and I am myself. I am my own person. And it's, and it's scary. I am my, my own main character. I think about that all the time. Because it's like no one else is, no one else can see what I'm doing. No one else knows what I'm about to do next. I could, like, I get very, 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 very self- Sir, please, I had an edible earlier! Jeff, I'm so don't think about it! But yeah, I go through phases where I am incredibly self-aware and then I disassociate. It's never one or the other. And it's very scary. Um. But yeah, so I'm always wondering um, what happens at our death because I'm always like, oh, when I die, that's it. I close my eyes and don't see anything anymore. I don't know what's going to happen because I'm me and no one else is me and I only care about myself. Like... <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, okay? I mean, I'm joking about me being like, I only care about myself. You usually prefer to be around others rather than your own? Oh my god, yes. You become bored to lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical? No, I enjoy that more. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose spins are very different from yours? I, yes, I can empathize with everybody to a degree. I, it's it's simple, but it it will take time usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible agree no actually no disagree you rarely second guess the choice you make disagree after a long exhausting week allow these to defend the decision you made uh, yes actually sometimes yes i gotta turn up at the club um you enjoy going to art museums yep you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings uh yes you actually i have a hard time but i'm usually always right but i do have a hard time you like to have a to-do list? I do. But do I do it? No. You really feel insecure? Haha. -ha. You avoid making phone calls? Uh, no. Disagree. I used to really avoid making phone calls. Now it's only very specific ones because I'm scared to talk to people who are above me. But, girl, I will ring you at any fucking second. At any fucking second. Welcome back, Frenzy. Hello. How was the gym? You often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Always. I love to... I love to learn even if i don't understand also my food is still on the way wait no he drove home homeboy drove home and I'm still tracking him.
I said, hey, any updates on my order? And the next one is, how does it taste? <laughs> In your social circle, you are often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Okay, yes. And this is like my biggest pet peeve. I often find that I'm always the one initiating things and it breaks my heart. I always think about how I don't know my friends' friends, but they know all of mine. And it makes me very sad. I think, like, the only time I've experienced otherwise, like, the opposite was don't tell him I'm being nice. Do not fucking tell him I'm being nice. But it's when J3 was here and he was like, oh, yeah, like, I have some friends here. Let's go out with them. And I was like, what? What do you mean by that? And I met his friends and now I'm friends with them and then like the next day we were gonna hang out with them again but I was I, I had my period I was in pain so we couldn't or well so I couldn't I told him to still go um but I was like flabbergasted I was like holy shit I just met someone's I, I just met you for the first time ever and you're already introducing me to your friends and now I'm also friends with them, and now we're all collectively friends? Happened twice, actually! Because he invited me to, like, to play games with his friends. I didn't know anybody except for him, and now I'm friends with those people! Like, I've never experienced that before in my entire fucking life. Ever. Ever. So. It does, like, break my heart knowing that I'm like, oh my god, everybody! <laughs> Don't know any of your friends, though. Ugh. But yeah, I don't know. You too, Avalon? Hi, wanna be friends? Oh my god, look, friendship. Look at that. I guess that's why I like having like a little Discord community, because I like bringing people together. I love bringing people together, and I love, like, I love watching people, like, I don't know, become friends. I think it's cute. I love knowing that, like, people can, like, have a an ongoing list of people that they can go to, they can hang out with and, and chat with. Seriously, you don't get it? What don't you get? I'm so excited for the housewarming. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait for more people to meet each other. <laughs> I have like two friends who don't need more than the IRL. That's fine. That's okay. Do you? I have I have a quite a few quite a few friends. And I love my friends. But like sometimes I wish I wish I was included more. And I think like that's the thing. That's the problem. I start everything. They don't, that's cool. But like I introduce them to everybody. I've n How is making friends a bad thing? No one is saying that making friends is a bad thing. I don't know where you got that from. But what I, what I'm get You know what? I don't even want to reiterate. I don't even want to reiterate. I don't have the- I don't- I don't have it in me to reiterate. Do you have FOMO? I... I do to a degree. I've actually only experienced FOMO maybe like once or twice. Um, and that's it. I shockingly don't really get FOMO. Or if I do, then I don't notice it possibly no not possibly mexican viper you completely misunderstood what i was saying there's no if and or but you did misunderstand it because i am not saying that making friends is a bad thing no one is saying that we're saying that we want to make more friends anyway back to this if your plans are interrupted your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible actually yes i am a very big person big person i am a very big believer in um like rain checking and and making making thing making up things you know 
Like making, like if I, if I bail on you, I will make it up to you, etc, 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 you know? You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago? Always! I have anxiety! You really cause with the reasons for human existence? Oh no, I always, I literally was just talking about that. I always, I always contemplate life. You emotions control you more than you control them? Absolutely. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. Nah, I'll go here. I don't care if I make someone look bad, because I can own up to it. But I do care about the people- no, I'll put it in the middle. But I do care about the people that I, I love and or once loved, and I would never want to humiliate them in any way i don't care how much i don't like them i love them at one point and we're leaving it at that you know what i mean like bye bye explain me what do you mean by that look look you are a different breed jay you are a whole <laughs> Yeah. Listen, 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 you are the exception, okay? I will always make you look bad. You deserve also now we're going to get the biracial guy. Yeah, maybe if you were 100% brown and not 50% colonizer, you wouldn't be getting so much fucking heat. <laughs> Gabriel, get out! Get out! Wait, now I want to see you do this test. You better fucking do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it in the middle. Or you know what? I'm gonna put it over here, just out of spite for Jay. This the, this is for Jay. Your personal work style is close to spontaneous person energy and organized because of efforts. Yep, I actually put it here. When someone thinks highly of you, wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed. Yes, absolutely. No one really likes me. Uh, you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Yep. Uh, actually, only here. I do love working on my own, but I love knowing that I can go to other people for assistance and to, like, chat about my work and stuff. So it's, like, I gotta, get, like, middle ground, kind of, because I always go to my friends to, um, give me insight, even though they don't, like, work with me, you know? Um, you believe that pondering abstract philosoph philosophical questions is a waste of time? Nah. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres and quiet, intimate places? Yes, because quiet, intimate places scare me because I am a, a woman. I'm a small girl. You know at first glance how someone is feeling? Usually, yes. No, yes, usually. My gut my gut instincts are almost always right. Uh, you all feel overwhelmed? Of course. You complete things met uh, methodically without skipping it over any steps? No, I will skip as many steps as I can. You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial? Um... Yes, because I want to I'm a content creator. I want to make sure I'm not overstepping or doing something wrong You pass along good opportunity if you thought someone else needed more fuck. No, you struggle with deadlines. Absolutely. You feel confident that things will work for you. Nope. your gender optional um optional <laughs> Debater Me the twitch streamer Okay, this is new. I don't think I- Did I get debater before? E-N-T-P-T. Our curious and lustful thinkers who cannot resist an intellectual challenge. That is a lie. I'm dumb. Extroverted? True. Wait, it's extra, not extra? I'm learning so much. I'm a master debater. I'm a master debater. Intuitive? Okay. Thinking? That's not true at all. Wow. Not the 1% assertive. This test really said you're a fucking bottom. Stay down there. Holy crap. 50% think, 100% rage. No, I got red to filth. Oh my god. <laughs> well. Yeah. 
Turbulent individuals are self-conscious and sensitive to stress. They feel a sense of urgency in their emotions and tend to be success-driven, perfectionistic, and eager to improve. I... That's so funny. That's so fucking funny. Okay, who else is a debater? Show me the masturbators. Weird Al? Who's at Sarah Silverman? Okay. Oh, Tom Hanks, Mark Twain, Celine Dion, Canadian legend. Captain Jack Sparrow! Tyrion Lannister? Let's fucking go! Sasha Baron Cohen, though? My god. Amazing. The Joker? So we've got my wife, and we've got just <laughs> this is my joker this is my joker moment this is my joker era and jim from the office no that's mean that's just mean that's rude i'm not jay we li <laughs> i live in a society and matt damon that's it that's who you give me? Well, you know what? I will absolutely take Borat, Jack Sparrow, Tyrion, and I guess Irene Bangs, but the Joker. I will take this. You are a white man. I'm... No! I am becoming my fear! What I... Oh, no! I'm becoming what I fear! I'm a white man! Oh my god. This is like Freaky Friday, but worse. I'm not a MILF. I'm just a white dude named Jim. Amazing. You'll either die a hero or live long enough to become a white man. Thank you for the 3397. Wait, hold on. For the food, I hope the driver gets mild food poisoning in case they don't, but I'm too optimistic. Rio Zaya, thank you so much for the for the little dono. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? I hope they enjoy my food. Damn. I got red to filth. I'm in shambles. Sasha Martin Cohen is pretty lit though. He's so fucking hot. I do kind of look like him. I got thick brows and a big nose. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's go. I can live my life now knowing that I'm a masturbator. Thank you for coming so soon. Yeah, yeah. I'll send for Commander Aldin at once, and we can decide what to do about these infernal towers. Ha! Look at preserve! Pretty! Oh, this fucking fuck. It can't be. Oh, but it is. Asahi's back, or whatever his name is. As Asahi? 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 After them! No, 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 no. Oh, Daddy, you make it so worth it. You make the trip to Alamigo so worth it. You're here. Good. Mm, just for you. Yeah, what's up? What's up, you little freak? Well, well, well! To be received by such an illustrious Fan, cast! Daniel! <gasps> Why? Even the hero of the piece is here. I feel quite starstruck. Is that... Asahi? His body more like. You don't fool us. Mm-hmm. Oh! You saw straight through it. Anyone would think you dealt with Asians before. Permit miss, me to I introduce miss. myself. I am Fan Daniel, 
And may I say what a pleasure it is to finally make your acquaintance. I miss Emmett so much. I can't believe I'm saying that. But I miss him. What have you done to me? I vowed that I would not simp for you. Hey! I have a- Chat. A smile better suits a spoiler. Okay? Smiles only. But Jay, you said that there was a voice line coming up that would 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 that I would really like from Emmett. Have I heard it already? Or is it gonna be in a flashback? Oh, so I've heard it. What was it? Cause I don't rem I don't I don't remember. It was when he knocked you down and said you were found wanting. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we're good then. Okay, so I didn't spoil anything myself. When he was utterly unimpressed by you? Yeah, 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 I remember now. <laughs> uh, the towers were the fool! My. Straight to business, is it? Suit yourself. I want his robe. I like it. It is my intention to recreate the final days. Oh, no, nah, bro. Richard and I have distributed a collection nah, of rather not the ingenious ship. devices, or towers, which will, in time, give rise to the grandest of spectacles. Oh, my God. Is this what Endwalker is going to be final about? final days? Oh, my God. Because it was the Asians who oh labored to prevent Oh, my God. Them. What's going to happen to Eorzea? Oh, my God. You're quite right. Though I would expect no less from one responsible for eliminating my unsundered colleagues. Fan Daniel is a theater gay. Honestly, the three of them were obsessed with restoring the one true world. As a sovereign individual, however, I never had much interest in such things. I mean, why bother when you're just another sundered minion? Admittedly, Elidibus was not convinced by that argument. But thanks to you, I'm finally free of his incessant nagging. Free to use my powers as I see fit, to fulfill my heart's desire. All right, Busty. And my heart's desire is to lay this half-broken world to waste, leaving nary a fleck of dust behind. Any of y'all got those crystal butt plugs? What? Why would you want such a thing? Out of context, that sounds so bad. Because I want wretched creatures who ask such meaningless questions to die! You! And you! And you! I want you all to die! <laughs> and I want to die too! Oh, yes! I want to die! and take everyone with me in a paroxysm of pain and suffering! It's giving white America? I'm different, you see. From the ancients who clung to dear life, and from you. Also, hi, Tiff! So don't bother trying to reason with me. <laughs> you will find I have no reason, or creed, or any such tripe. I just want to destroy the world. But please do resist with all your might. This man is it will so add chaotic. To my enjoyment. He just lives and breathes chaos. Now then, and honestly, ladies and I gotta gentlemen, give him a little bit of respect. Keep your eyes peeled, for the curtains have risen on the spectacle to end all spectacles. We the Telophoroi shall be your the performers Telophoroi. and this very star our stage. Wait, already? Wait, I'm scared. Wait, no, he's gone. Wait, oh my god, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I was gonna call his bluff, wait. I would fuck that dragon. It's got a dick coming out of its chest. Oh shit, oh fuck, wait, oh god. Oh no! Oh no! Now how are we standing? 
cannon, but the rest aren't. Oh, God! Damn. Oh, my God. We went tumbling. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Am I dead? No, I'm good. I'm chilling. See? Pepper never dies. The pussy lives to see another day. Ah, but I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> My esteemed patron, Lord Xenos, eagerly awaits you at the heart of the chaos. While I wish only to destroy the world, he exists solely to relive a certain, hmm, transcendent moment with you. And it is for that reason he would reduce all to ash. Pray see to it his dreams do not go unfulfilled. For if you should disappoint him, my trusty companion here, whom I've dubbed Luna Bahamut, will burn your cities and everyone in them. Respect for the name, I kind of like it. The Bahamusi? The Lunar Bahamusi? Everyone out! My men will tend to the blaze. Okay, well that just happened. I know, Ashley Tisdale wants the pussy once again. Ashley Tisdale, leave me the fuck alone. I do not want to be in High School Musical 25. Or 13, or however many there are. God, Ashley Tisdale just cannot leave me alone. Thank goodness everyone's safe. Oh, do I do the least voice? Thank goodness everyone's safe. We've managed to put out the fire, though. Uh, the fire, though not quickly enough to save the garden. Roban, can I leave it to you to send word to the Alliance? I'm going to take a unit and investigate the tower. We need to find out what it's for. We'll go with you. No, you won't. You'll rest. From what Merlewib tells me, you're due some time off duty. Should we learn anything about the tower, we'll be sure to share it with you. Until then, I want you to rest. Very well. If you need our help, don't hesitate. And take care, both of you. I think my other problem with Lise is how much fan service she has as well. Um, like her, um, like the, like the, mm, like her stretch and shit. I'm super anti fan service when it caters towards the, the gamer male gaze. You know, like in anime and stuff. I think fan service really, really, really can ruin media. Unless it's like cutesy like nods to things like from the past, like references and shit, like that's fun. But if your fan service is like really gross, misogynistic, like sex appeal stuff, I'm not into it. And there's a lot of that with Lisa as well that I just like could not could not sit and and witness. Okay. Back to this. So you cry out? Fuck yeah, I will. Oh, wait. Are we done? Is this it? I'm also, like, really struggling to clip my... My ears. The more male gazy Yatsuyu stuff gave me the ick too. Do not get me fucking started on Yatsuyu. I swear to God, when I was talking about my... My feelings towards Yatsuyu, I think I upset almost my entire chat. And it made me feel very weird. I don't like what they did with her character. If she had stayed, if she had stayed a wicked villain and they just kept it at that, I would have been into it. But they fucking gave her amnesia. Oh my god, forgive her, she's baby. They infantilize her as well, like... 
and then she got worse then she went back to her old ways like cool you literally ruined what could have been a really 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 good villain like i loved her character design i hated her i i hate it i loved hating her she um she to me she had the same energy that joffrey had you hate joffrey but you love to hate him you know kind of that same thing but the more the story went on the more i was like what are they doing with her where is she going because this is now she's now losing her core and it seemed, it felt like the writers didn't even know wh what to do with her. And they just kind of threw everything at the wall, hoping something would stick. You know? How is that different from Emmett? I think, well, I mean, I don't, I still don't really know how I feel about Emmett. I'd fuck him. But I still don't know how to feel. She became a tool for Go Gosetsu's arc of getting her own. True. True. I fucking love Gosetsu. So, like... I do love what her character did for him, but yeah, it's funny. Like I still haven't really like sat down and thought about how I felt, how I feel about Emmett. I think I spoke about it with Jay, like Charlemagne at one point. Um, I feel like the difference with Emmett and Yatsuyu, it, wait, no, there are so many differences between Emmett and Yatsuyu. What are you talking about? Wait, hold on. You cannot compare Yatsuyu with Emmett. Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. Hold on. Those are two very different characters. The way that Emmett approaches us, the way that he that he goes about his mission, he's still a bad guy, I guess. He's a villain. But like the way that his character is unraveled versus Yatsuyu's, they didn't give him cheap amnesia to make you feel bad and to make you forgive him. They didn't infantilize him to appeal to, to the male gaze. And then they didn't like whip him back into a villain all of a sudden when he got his memories back. Yatsuyu was poorly handled. She could have been such a good villain that I could have loved and like wanted to learn more about. But they did not know what they were doing with her. Whereas with Emmett, there, there, there seemed to be like an actual like narrative for him that felt like it was like actually important to the core story because like i've already forgotten about yatsuyu like she like she, i feel like she was a bad guy and that was and like there was like she was weak She's weak. I'm finally done. I'm here now. Hello. Welcome back, Elise, Vlad, and Red. How did the, uh, how Destiny go? Emmett has a lot more depth and development than she did. Absolutely. And, like, narratively, too, they're both just two different characters. They're two different characters. I don't think you can compare them. Again, that's like when people were saying, like, oh, you don't like Lise? Well, if she was a man, you would like her more. Like, no, that has nothing to do with it. Because I would still hate the character. Because gender has nothing to do with it. But anyway. The ways they tried to make Yatsuyu sympathetic were by undermining her instead of with Emmett where they prop him up. True. I was comparing that they are not innately pure evil. Did we play the same game? Did we... Did we play the same game? Or maybe maybe I'm just viewing... I'm just viewing Yatsuyu differently. I don't know. Maybe I just view her character way differently. But I think Yatsuyu is evil. Where's her hat glam? I'm wearing a bow. I got a little bow. She's a puppet? 
You know what? Actually, hold on. I don't want to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue with you because when I was talking about and I, I ignored this. Don't think I fucking don't think I didn't see it. We were talking about racism and some bullshit and you said cap to what I was talking about. And I ignored it. I was like, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to have this argument. But now that I now, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, the the stars are aligning a bit. Oh, and you're admitting to it? Ooh, bold. I would have lied. I would have lied. I would have absolutely lied. If someone caught me like that, I'd be like, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Imagine saying cap when we're discussing racism and valid points. Mm. <laughs> And look, listen, I want you to know that you are not being banned because you don't think Yatsuyu is evil. You're being banned because I remembered you said cap. <laughs> That's why you're being banned. You're- we can- we can debate about Yatsuyu. I don't mind. That's fine. Valid. We can debate about it. You have your opinion. I got mine. But sometimes my memory comes in clutch. It's very bad. But sometimes... Sometimes I remember small little details in chat. And oh, isn't it sweet? Uh cap basically means like it's like it's like saying you're lying, I disagree, like nah, no way, no shot, like that kind of thing. Yeah. Cap on memory, she forgets me? Shut up. Also, thank you. Thank you, Jay. I think it's a sarcasm thing? No. If someone says, like, Oh, I met Taylor Swift, you'd say cap, because you don't believe them. You would say cap because- Or if someone said, like, Like, oh, pineapple pizza's the best, and someone said cap, it's like, it's because you don't agree. And no cap means, like, I'm not lying, or I'm serious, etc, etc. And also saying cap about racism. Saying cap about racism. <laughs> no, 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 no. R.I.P. Bozo. Oh, Ishtola. Oh my god, mommy? Wait, no! I don't want to talk to you, Carl. I want to talk to mommy. <laughs> You're back, too. Good. We just see reports from the lot. Sorry. I just did all here, perhaps. Those people are witnessing events and a bit about. Wait, no, wait, no, I want to make the. Wait, and it's not even voice acted. It's not even voice acted. This is the final cutscene of 5.4, and it's not even voice acted. Connor, thank you for the prep sub. Welcome to the coverage of your bedroom. What's interesting? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was writing something clever. Oh, now I want the tea. <laughs> Honestly, though, if we get unbanned requests, leave them, because maybe I can turn it into content. We can go through... I was just gonna say... <laughs> Leave them, because then, like, I could turn it into content. We can go through unbanned requests together. So don't deny them. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Let them talk to the abyss, you know? Anyway, let's see what Mother has to say. No sooner do we overcome one problem than another appears. It would. By the way, chat, I just want y'all to, like, know. Um, I, I said it before, but, like, I don't articulate my feelings well. I do a very bad job of it. Um, but, like, if I'm not, like, phrasing something properly, I have no quarrels if y'all try to, like, help me. Because <laughs> I'm very, very, very bad at it, so. And I'm sure y'all can tell. But I'm doing my best. I'm doing my, my best. It's hard, because, like, as a streamer, it's like I should be good at speaking, but unfortunately, I'm not. So, I hope y'all get what I put down. You know? That's all. I did myself really well in my head in the shower. Same. 
in my head everything makes sense and then I open my mouth and I'm like <laughs> shouldn't have done that you thanks Jeff no sooner do we overcome one problem than another appears it would all seem tediously predictable but for the endless variety of our foes this fun Daniel sounds more unhinged than his patron unhinged perhaps but no fool for all his pantomime theatrics he gave away little about his plot we know only that he intends to re recreate the final days and that the towers will somehow facilitate this what does baby girl know he also called his dragon lunar bahamut let's not forget that little detail i love that i did the coils like right before this because now like i've seen so many references to the coils since i did them and i don't know if that's like like a game thing or if it's just like the narrative itself Crank that soldier boy. Get out, Kelsey. Go home. Go home. We all get developed as we go. We all get developed as we go. But you were understood that's important. Thank you. You're good at entertaining. You're good at being you. That's a matter of thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks. I'm just doing my best out here. <laughs> and the creature certainly did resemble the Elder Primal. It did. That may be, but the fact that it answered to Van Daniel would suggest that would suggest they are not one and the same entity. I think it more probable that it is some manner of sim simulacrum born of Asian magics. Whatever it is, for now we can but work closely with the Alliance and remain vigilant. I believe that concludes our news. What of yours, Yustola? I have been. I have been to see the Sultana, knowing how quick the immortal flames are to, to dispose of their tempered, I judge it best to provide them with a cure first. Look at flashbangs. My boy Pippin! As soon as I had sufficiently recovered, I traveled to Ulda and delivered the pork seeds to her grace, along with detailed instructions on their use. Oh, she's... The Namo looks so happy. Yet my visit chanced to coincide with the arrival of some troubling tidings. The immortal flames had been on the cusp of agreeing to a truce with the Am Amalja when negotiations abruptly collapsed. The Amalja, no, Amalja, right? Amalja, whatever, claimed that a number of their kind have been abducted and that men are responsible. Oh shit. Not as known to the per uh, perpetrators as yet, but as the immortal flames went about investigating the abductions, they came upon one of Finn Daniel's towers. God, please. On the subject of the towers, you may be interested to learn that they are not an exclusively Eorzean phenomenon. Ooh, according to the Alliance, they have been sighted as far afield as Yangsha. Oh, fuck me in the ass. Then it would seem reasonable to assume that they are everywhere. We simply have not found them. Well, as you said yourself, we can do little for now save remain vigilant. And since we are dealing with a dragon, ostensibly at least, I believe it would behoove us to enlist the aid of an authority on such foes. That flashbang emote actually kills me. It's so funny. Estinian! <gasps> Estinian? Now just a moment. If he could be persuaded to lend us his lance... Oh god, he could lend me his lance. I'd be the first to welcome it, girl. Same. But the truth is, we will struggle even to find him. Plot twist, he walks in right now. Hehe. <laughs> You let me and Kral worry about that. We'll sniff him out, no matter where he's hiding. If indeed he is hiding. We have ways of locating him regardless. So if there are no objections, we shall depart at once. Oh, Kral's a little wave. It's literally because of the cat ears? Exactly. I have so many new cat emotes that I added with, um, with 7TV. They're so fucking good. I love them. My favorite, though, is the cat sitting around the fire. <laughs> Well, rather than sitting around, I think I might go to each of the city-states and educate them in the use of the proxies. Or the porksies, rather. They would doubtless appreciate it. But might you consider taking a moment to rest before leaving? You would be fresher for the tasks ahead. Just worrying about his sister at all times. Hi. Well, my friend, our moment of triumph did not last long. Did not last long. Yeah. Just over the way, the world often needs saving. Oh dear, you're not enjoying our adventure? I really could have done with a rest. She wouldn't say the first one. What should Pepper say? 
Sire, when I first came here, I'm happy for y'all sitting in focus, but I don't. Sire, now he can give me his lands. Look, I'm down bad. I'm down bad. I'm down bad. Okay? What about it? I haven't gotten laid in so long that now anyone who looks at me, I am into. I will take anyone's lance at this fucking point. Pepper has lost Orshifa. She's lost Emmett. The next guy that she loves is a bottom. She ain't getting any action here. I mean, she's got Nishtola, but... Thank you for the 13 months, Frenzy. I appreciate it. Pick two or three. I'll go with two. Come on, come now. I didn't say that. Well, it may not be the most carefree experience. There's nothing in this world I'd rather do than write a new future with you. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna read into that so hard. Oh my god. He's baby. Oh my god. There's in this world I would rather do than write a new future with you oh my god I'm so sorry I literally just said that pepper would fuck anything with a pulse except for you I take it back maybe maybe pepper can peg you we'll figure it out we'll make it work Oh my god, uh, this little pumpkin poopy pants, he's such a- I love him, look at his little- oh my god, I love him. I love this boy, I love this boy so much. I would literally die for him. A, l a long future, mind, whatever the tele -fa -fa, 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 fa fa might hope. We'll stop them, won't we? Together. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye, Pepusi. I know. Grazie, I got a thick ass neck. We did it. We did it. We're in 5.5 now. Ooh. Meanwhile, somewhere in the looks. What's going on in the looks, bye? Damn that 5G really putting in work. Oh, this is gonna be voiced. The scouts should have been back by now. I'm gonna go and find them. Oh, thank goodness for that. No, he don't look good, girl. Glory be. Glory be. To glory vault. Please tell me I get a dub. Please. 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 Please tell me I get a dub. Give me a dub! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding! The piles have been driven as planned, and the first of the beasts has roared to life. Moreover, I am pleased to report that preparations are well underway for the rest. Ere long, chaos shall reign over all the land, as befits the final days. Call it what you will, so long as my friend returns to me, fangs bared and claws sharpened, I care not. Of course, my lord. By strange coincidence, your dear friend 
chance to be present when I made my declaration. I took the liberty of informing her that you await her coming. Though I confess, I may have singed her a little in the process. I love him. I think I love him. I'm in love with him. Not in, well, not in that way, and but... why do you tell me this? Are you in such him. a hurry to die? Ah, my apologies. I must it's guard my tongue lest it be the end of me. <laughs> Though, my tongue! <laughs> there is something to be said for such a glorious death. Better to fall to one who has it all than falter before an inferior. Huh. I shall keep it in mind as a contingency. For now, however, I shall proceed with the plan. My lord. I love him. I love him. Oh, you love so he can be dead like the rest. Exactly. Everyone I love dies, so... Hopefully. I must find myself a new weapon. One worthy of our long-awaited reunion. Oh? Ashley Tisdale, that was kind of rude. It was designer, babes. It was designer. Okay, I love this, though. This is so good. This is so good. That's so good. you glance and press pepper as you should we did it chat we did it we are now in 5.5 oh man let's see I feel like the right thing to do is to start it tomorrow I had to stick around for the finish, but I'm so sleepy. Holy heck. Good night, Eternal. Don't worry. We will not be continuing um, the story tonight. I am also sleepy. I want to crawl into the shower. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I will. So tomorrow I will be redoing my office and I'm hoping that will be quick. So I will try my best to be live at around 8 p.m. Eastern. So the usual like 7 to 8 p or 7 to 9 p.m. So somewhere in between there. Don't forget to join my Discord server and uh, follow me on social media. That way you can stay updated with all my shenanigans. And you will get live notifications every time that I go live. So you never miss a stream. You don't have an excuse. They're right there for you. It's right there. Look at look at Kelsey being such a sexy mod. Look at her. Look at her do her thing. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. And Walker is so close. I'm so scared. And Walker is on the way. <gasps> Kareem, you're still here? Hi, ah, Boogie. Hello. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm scared, but I'm like... <laughs> we're so close. We're so close. All right. Alex, you look. You're a good boy. You do your little lurking. Okay, we're going to go and say hi to... Who are we going to say hi to? You know what? At this hour, there's no one ever on. We're just going to go say hi to Todd, as always, because Todd is live. He is doing savage content. I'm not looking. It's spoiler stuff. I do not see. Um, let's just get a Syro Ubu in his chat, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.